Obiozo, you have been chosen as the next king of an Enugu kingdom. We all believe that you will take the full steps of the previous king or will be better than him. Thank you very much, Obuefi. Thank you. Thank you, my elders. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence. Thank you also for this rare opportunity to be a king of our beautiful community at a time like this. Thank you. As I sit here, I make you all this promise right in the presence of the chief priest of Anil that I, Obiozo, will rule this kingdom very well. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Like it everyone. Yeah. And I shall not disappoint you all. And I'll do all within my power to ensure that everyone is happy and comfortable. First thing first, Obiozo. You have to choose a wife before your coronation. Mm. Uh, no one's away. I'm very much aware of that. And I assure you all again, my elders, that I will do the needful eh, in due time. <laughs> very good. Because you can pay with a need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard the latest concerning the next king of our land? I haven't. What is it? Obiozo has been chosen to be the next king. Obiozo? Yes. Are you serious? <sighs> He's from the family of the kingmakers. And the chief priest, wow. maybe, after consultations with the gods and ancestors, possibly settled for him. Obiozo is not married, so how is he going to be the king? He has been asked to choose a wife before his coronation. Wow. That's good news. How do you mean? Just take a good look at me. Don't I look beautiful enough for Obiozo? Bongewa. I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't even go there. What is that supposed to mean? Obiozo is mine. So you better get that useless thought off your mind. What is even the meaning of all this nonsense? Is it because I told you? Why are you flaying off for nothing? We're only having a normal conversation here. And here you're insulting me. <laughs> She's over. I don't have your time. Excuse me. Can you imagine this girl? You can go and kill yourself for all I care. Obiozo is mine and you will keep being mine. Rubbish. I am very happy for you, my friend. <laughs> hey! So, you mean soon I will not just be the friend of Obiozo, but the friend of Obiozo, the king of Anenu. <laughs> hey! This is great. Let's continue to thank the gods in your I will equally be respected across the length and breadth of Anenu because I will partake in your glory. Ah! <laughs> glory! <laughs> glory. <laughs> it is fine, you Just stop making this thing look larger than it is. Eh? It is large! Is it? Larger than anything you can think of. <laughs> Is that so? Hi! <laughs> Greetings, my king. Greetings, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all. Um, I have to get going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
This is indeed a new phase in your life. I told you. <laughs> Our lives. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, Buchi, that is what I've been encountering since I was named the next king. This one happened before me. I saw it. Hey. <laughs> How I wish I was the one chosen. Ah. I will have set this kingdom on fire. I swear. Oh yeah, Buchi, what would you have done differently? In Azumaju? Uh. Even men. <laughs> <laughs> I will have tested all of them. Oh, yeah, Buchi, you would have gotten tired. Have you not heard that an average woman is stronger than two men in that regard? I am capable. You are capable? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That is why the gods will never choose a man like you to become king. Don't insult me. I'm not insulting you. Mm -hmm. Don't insult me because we, we've been in this together. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep walking up behind you. <laughs> Elders in council will not always agree with me. For it is believed I am always too blunt. But you will agree with me this time around. But what happened is absolute nonsense. Hmm. Uh, hmm? Really? Nonsense? Oh, what is your What is your grouse? What is your grouse? Why are you always eating yourself up? What exactly is your anger? Is that supposed to be a question it's or no? A question. Why are you boiling and calling what we're doing nonsense? What's, what exactly is your anger? I can be disappointed in you. In fact, I am disappointed in all of you. Ah. Oh, brother, son. What exactly is your problem? Everything is the problem. Why must Obiozo be the chosen one? Why? I don't get it. Do you have any problem with the man? Yes, you ask him. Yes, yes. Tell us. Is there anything we need to know? I don't even know why I'm sitting down here having this discussion with you. Look at this. Don't mind the rabble rouser. What is wrong with this man? Don't mind the rabble rouser. He always likes standing alone. Eh? He is always creating unnecessary tension, seeking notice. Ndi ah. please let us concentrate and discuss more important things. Which means you've not even cooked. What have you been doing? Oye Biko, it is still very early. I am not your wife. Do not disturb me. Oh, Miss Oma, this is not fair. This is not fair. I told you I was hungry before I left. Miss Oma, this is not fair. This is not fair. Yes, that is all Miss Oma is good for. Miss Oma, have you finished cooking? Miss Oma, you are not done cooking. Miss Oma, you are still peeling Ebusi. Miss Oma, you are still doing this. Miss Oma, I'll get you one. What is it? Make Oye Buchi. If your stomach has grown bigger than it used to be, go and get a wife. After all, your mates are with their wives in their houses and their children. Are your mates not, you eh? not in their husband's houses? Eh, hey, that reminds me. What is it? How is your bills? Excuse me? Hmm? What? You just asked after a bills? Yes. And what is wrong with that? I'm surprised because you've never asked after him before. But you just did. I see. It's because he's been named the next king. Okay? I see you're one of those girls. <laughs> you see, you see, Uchiri. Uchiri. Because you have concluded in your mind that all Ms. Oma is good for is making you meals. You think I do not have the right to like good things, Okwaya? Who does not like Ms. Oma, listen to me. I am not in the mood for this useless question of yours. You know I'm hungry. I go now, I go, and I'm very angry at the moment. <laughs> You have been named the next king. And according to them, that can only happen when you are married. 
Why is it taking you so long to pick a wife? <laughs> Already. <laughs> well, this announcement was just made a few days ago. So? How is that even possible? <laughs> and so? Wasting time will make them think you are a man who cannot take decisions urgently. Mom, the decision that we're talking about here is one that involves the woman that I will spend the rest of my life with, the next queen. I know. Of course, I may sign on me. I have to be careful. It requires some kind of search, Mom, and I'm on it. Obiazo, <laughs> I am your mother. And I believe that you know that I know you inside out. If you're finding it very difficult to select a wife, I can select one for you today if you permit me. <laughs> well, it hasn't come to that yet. Oh. Come on. Look, I'm on it. Okay, I'm searching. I'm, I'm searching. Just to have some faith. Give me some time, Mom. I will find someone who I really like and I'll let you know. Uh, even though I have noticed that the ladies in this community have started clustering around me since I was named king. <laughs> But I also assure you, I'm not picking anyone from that bunch because that's not what I want. Okay? Relax. I'll find someone. Hmm? My king. Greetings, my king. Uh -huh. Greetings. Greetings, my king. Greetings. I made you a special file. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, what is your name again? Adoma. Adoma. Thank you for the food. Eh? Dal, you, you can keep it. I should do. Yes, please. Nene, mm. is there anything you would want me to do for you? Anything like what? Anything at all, just name it. Well, there's nothing. Thank you. Are you sure? Mama, are you sure there is nothing in the house? I am sure. You I am sure. Clean, wash, yeah, mm -mm. everything. I mean, she's willing to help. I am sure there is nothing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my king. Yes. I'll be on my way now. It is fine. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. See you this time. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was a now open on because I was just talking about how they cluster around me and then she shows up. Mom, this is what I've been dealing with huh? <laughs> since I was named king. But yeah, I said, Bob, tell you because they say, but you know, but I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope you are not planning on eating that food. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with the food? The food looks good. Looks good. But what can you say? I don't like you. I love that. That's it, mom. Nothing would happen to me. Okay? I am a man from this community. And nothing I put in my hands and put straight in my mouth will harm me. I will not die, mama. I am a man of an Enugu. A crown king. Uh, to be. This is a gift, though. From my female suitor. So relax here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the throne and the prince in our land Two elders and smiling again The beats and no singing again Oh, Chimo, Chimo The trees and the wind and the thunder The sign in the sky is so dark The rain is falling again Hey, Miss Oma. How are you, your mother? I'm very well. How are you? I'm well too. Um, I see that uh, my friend is not at home. Yes, he's not. He left some minutes ago. I even thought he was coming to your place. Oh, not at all. He didn't come to mine. Um, 
Why don't you sit a while and wait for him? What if he doesn't come back? Oh, I'm sure he will. You're sure? My instincts. What makes it? Your instincts. <laughs> okay. I'll wait. Your Majesty. You keep referring to me as Your Majesty. I have not been crowned king yet, Miss Oma. Well, soon you will be crowned king. Well, then let's wait until I am crowned king. Then you can address me as Your Majesty. Huh? Oh. What? Right here on your beard. What? I, I can't describe what it is. Let me, let me. It, is it off? Uh, yes, I, I just did. My very handsome king. You know, perfect choice made by men in council. And we are very sure that Anenubi is going to be great again. Miss um, Omar, I'll take my leave. Let your brother know that I was here and let him see me as soon as he returns, okay? My vibrant king, greetings, greetings, your majesty. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, your name again? Uncoli, your majesty. Uncoli, how are you? I am fine, your majesty. Ah, you're all smiles. You come across as um, cheerful. Thank you, your majesty. Welcome. Where are you headed? I'm heading to see a friend. Very well then. Uh, can we please um, work together? Hence, we are heading towards the same direction. We all know what Flower represents in the heart of the just. He is a just man, and that was why he was elected to be the king of Aninu. I present this to you with love. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chizoba. Yes, ma'am. All this because my son has been named the next king of an Enugu kingdom, right? Not really, ma. What do you mean by not really? Let me ask you. Do you think it is proper for a girl to be spending so much money buying gifts for a man just the way you're doing now? Not really, ma. What do you mean by not really? Why are you wasting your money going after my son the way you're doing now? Answer me! I'm only showing care, ma. Oh. Care indeed. Well, there's no problem. Give me. Thank you. Thank you very much for your gift, the flower. And thank you for your care. I'm happy you like it, Nick. Mm, thank you very much. You may now leave. Okay. Thank you. And the priest in all land. Two elders and smiling. Okay. The bits and no singing. Okay. Oh, Chimo. Chimo. The trees and the wind and the. Adoma. Why are you standing here like a ghost? And what are you doing here? I should be asking you that question, Chizoka. What are you doing here? How? Oh. You think I didn't see you when you moved into my husband's compound with your worthless gift? <laughs> There's nothing I will not hear in an Enugu kingdom. She's your husband's her. compound. I thought you were my friend, but I never knew you were a backstabber. Oh, please hold it there. Point of correction. Obiozo is going to be my husband. The earlier you know that, the better for you. 
come back here. <laughs> you. It's going to be your husband. Chizoba, you are a dreamer. Unlucky now. But I bet you that will never happen. You know what? Let's get lost. Toto Lomwaji. Hi. Are you going to allow this nonsense to continue? Ubiozo, name the girl you have chosen. You know, time is no longer on your side. And you know what that means. Mom, I'm doing my best. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying, Mom. I, I mean, look at it this way. But the woman in question should be someone special, Mom. You know, someone really, really unique. You just can't be anybody in an Enugu. No. I'm trying. I'm searching. Huh? There he is. Ah. It's here. Oh, you're welcome. Just hold your greetings, Ozioma. Please. Is there any problem? Yes, there is. Why is your son still single? Or does it mean he is not aware of the responsibility that awaits him? Um, it's your Okwana, Sanya, please. Hey, Watch the please way don't even call my name for you are not qualified to ever call that name. I still look at you. I don't know why they settled for you as the next king. No, but it's possible they are blind. Or maybe they are suffering from the illusion of looking at black and calling it white and looking at white and calling it black. It's your father, Sanya. Enough. Alright, enough. I will not have you insult me in my compound. And need I remind you that I have been called king. Bridle your tongue. Watch the way you speak to me. Really? Yes. And then you stood as if there is something you are going to do. What can you do? They settled for you as the next king. Listen to me. It is going to happen only on one condition. And that is that you urgently make a woman your wife. If you fail to do this, I am going to reconstruct the entire process in a way. That some other person will emerge the next king. You are not going to claim you don't know what I'm capable of doing. My son, please. Just ignore him. He's a troublemaker. Ignore him. Who does this man think he is, Ma? He is just a troublemaker. The troublemaker of an Enugu kingdom. Obiozo was here. Oh. I forgot you told me he will be coming. Any message from him? Not really. Oh. But I have a question. What question? Never mind. Ah, I shouldn't mind. So why then did you say you have a question? Of course. I had a question. But now I said you shouldn't mind. Oh, do you want to force it out of my mouth? <laughs> There's nothing I will not see. Yeah. Okay. I have a question for you. Which is? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how I ended up having a difficult sister like you? Hey, oh, oh, and um, <laughs> it's so unfortunate how much time it took you to discover this. But we are here now. You cannot change it, my brother. A nightmare. I can't believe this. Huh. Why 
happened? Why did you tell him that made him agree to have a work with you? I told him nothing. Eh? Mm -hmm. I am sure he finally realized I am a babe of outstanding class. Yes. You see, we discussed a lot of things and he gave me detailed attention. Hmm. This is excellent news for the year. Extremely wonderful. Hmm? You see, something tells me that I am the one for him. You see, would you? I am that babe mm -hmm. that he will finally marry. And I can't wait for that to happen. It, it will be it will be a team of joy, huh? for I will automatically become a friend to the queen. Exactly. You know what to do, would you? Tell me what you know. I pray. Mm -hmm. Pray that this becomes a success. Mm. I will start you today. What can I do for you? In fact, this moment. Ah, ah. Boss of our land. Boss of my ancestors. That my friends had desire. Ise, let Obiosa choose her as a Ise, let her become the queen of her name. Ise, so that I will become a friend to the queen. Ise. <laughs> Look, I understand, okay? Listen, I understand I'm not supposed to be this upset at this point in my history, but you see that man? You see that man? That man? That man is getting on my nerves. Obiozo, don't get yourself worked up. Huh. Who doesn't know Ichiokwe and Asanya? He's notorious for his troubles. But, if I'm to tell you the truth, a truth devoid of sentiments, I think he's right. Second. You heard me. What, what do you mean he's right? How is he right? You know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. You need to choose a wife. <laughs> Your coronation is fast approaching. And you know you don't have time. Oh, because I am pressed for time, Odebuchi. I should settle for the next woman that I find in Anilu. There you go again. Oh, what, 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 what there are you, you go about? again. Has anyone taking time to think about me? Is everything about the throne? Is everything about this community? How about me? Okay, I have feelings. Please, let me talk. You know, whenever this issue comes up, you tend to defend yourself by saying that you haven't found your kind of woman. Let me quickly ask you, what is your kind of woman? If you're not patient and stop pressuring me from all corners, I'll find a good woman. Right, listen, I might not be able to vividly right now, you know, describe her to you, but I tell you this, the moment I see her, I am now about fear. I would know. Something in my heart would shift. I would feel it. Obioza. I am convinced within the inner recesses of my mind that you can find that kind of woman. Oh, I can find her. Have some faith, Onyebuchi. Have some faith in me. Give me some time, all of you. Stop pressuring me. I will find her. Okay. Let me get dressed. We're almost late. It's fine. Hi, Miss Oma. Mm -hmm. How are you? I am well. But I have missed you. You what? Yes. <laughs> really? Oh, girls, eh? Oh, well, we're set. Okay, good. Uh, Miss Oma, you take care of yourself. Uh -huh. Take care of yourself. I'm coming. If I will know me, if I will know me, if the eyes can see, if the ears can hear, if I will know me, if I will know me. Be. We've been friends for a very long time now, mm -hmm. and I really want that friendship to keep moving. <sighs> If only your son will marry my daughter, Onyeji. Wait a minute, Azoka. I don't get it. You mean our friendship will cease to exist if my son does not marry your daughter? That's not what I mean. But the summary is that I want your son to marry my daughter, Onyeji. And I know that you can do that for me. <laughs> Azoka, it is not as easy as that, too. How do you mean? 
Oninyechi. Mama. Are you close to my son? Not really. We only breathe. You see, that is it. So what is your point now? <sighs> my point is that my son has not actually found who to marry. Hmm? And he is not someone you can choose a wife for. I don't understand you, my good friend. Please make me to understand. What I am saying is that I cannot force anyone on my son. If Oninyechi is meant for him, he will surely come for her. This is very confusing to me. The one I called my friend does not trust me. Hmm. Yeah. Mama, all I know is Obiozo must marry me. He must marry me. I, I must be the queen. Do you think we still stand a chance? After what the mother said. Mama, I don't know. I will do everything possible to get the man of my dreams. I can't lose this opportunity. What can you do to have this man of your dream? What do you call her, if not her husband's nature? <laughs> is that supposed to be funny? Of course, it is very funny. Hey, look at you. You're already referring to him as your husband. Of course. Huh. Obiazo belongs to me. Everybody knows that. Are you serious? And... When did he become your husband? All I need you to do is for you to tell Chizoba to stay away from my man. He's your wife, He is my man. And my husband. You are a fool to even say that. Look at you lusting over another woman's husband. And you're not even ashamed of yourself. Really? I never knew you were this dumb and stupid. Eh? Eh, 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 eh. Is that supposed to be an insult? This is an insult. Why are you? Are you stupid? 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 Are you is it man enough? What sort of useless question is this? Do not call it useless. I have my reason for asking. Not about your useless question. Why? What reason? Forget it. What were you discussing with him before I came out? Ah, did, you, did you answer? The one I asked you, you did not answer. What do you want me to say? I don't even know what you want me to say. Miss Oma, are you aware that I am your elder brother and that you don't talk to me anyhow? Oh, no. Sorry, you. Ndo, elder brother, Ndo, sorry. I don't know what is going on in your mind. But it might interest you to know that Obioso has found a wife. How? From where? Who? Who, who, is, the, who is the person? I don't know. But all I know is that that woman is not you. I always feel special whenever I'm with you. Obim, you are special with or without me, and you know it. I am still that humble Atwini who is in love with you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I disagree with you. You are not just Atwini. You are a chemist, a healer with the gift of the guts. At your age, you are already the greatest healer in the whole Anenugu. And one more balance empire. Any woman that is privileged to have you as hers will be very proud. Why would you say a thing like that? You're making me feel bigger than normal. I take that as flattery, though. I am not the only one with the gift of the gods when it comes to healing. You win. But to me, you are the greatest. <laughs> I thank you for coming into my life. Without you in my life, I'm just nothing. Uh, I'm just worthless. Uh, uh. Now you're the one flattering me. <laughs> no, I am not flattering you. You're the special one. 
and I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. Thank you, Bim. I can't just wait to pay your bride price and make you my wife. Oh, Bim, the ball is in your court. I'm, I'm ready, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the good news because I'm sure there is one. Oh, uh, sit down. <laughs> I'm listening. Mom, I have found her. You have found who? My wife. Yay! If I didn't if I didn't if I didn't mind, if I didn't if I didn't Lugomaka. Hey, that is great news. Thank you. I've been waiting for this news since. Thank you. Remember when we talked about it, I told you to relax. That when I find her, I will know. You said so. But by the moment I saw her, I knew. Okay. You know, the interesting thing is I have just seen her for the first time. I was with my friend, Onyebuchi, mm. you know, who told me that he knows her. Mm. That her name is Okukwe, a daughter of Nzobi Efra. Daughter of Nzobi Efra. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You know her? Yes, I know her. But, <laughs> is she not the one, um, Atweni, the owner of the booming chemist shop, wants to marry? Well? That is the same thing Onyebuchi said, but I told him that um, the young man is yet to pay her bride price, so that doesn't make her his wife, that um, it can be taken care of. But uh, you also... You wanted me to find a wife. I have found one. Huh? Let me handle the complexities that come with it. I want to marry her. I like her mom. Support me. Be happy for me. Eh? <laughs> you said you saw her yesterday. Yes, Chief. Did you in any way interact with her? Oh, no, I did not. I thought it wise if you to come have a conversation with you first. Mm. Uh, Nani, what do you think? What I think? Yes. Well, Okupo is not at home at the moment. She would have been the one to speak for herself. Yeah. Um, Your Majesty, I will personally talk to her when she comes back. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. I shall um, take my leave now. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you. Why did you ask me such question in his presence? Was there anything wrong with that? Uh, Ugoma, are you sure you are still okay? Hey. Have you forgotten that our daughter is to be married to Atui? Yeah. So, you want to sit here and compare the two? The king to be of this great kingdom to Atui? So, because the coming king has developed Interest in our daughter. Our twin should be discarded as nothing. <laughs> is that what you are actually saying? And I've not said anything like that. Mm. But I know. There's no way you compare the two. Nani. They came to be all. Oh, you forgot it. Yeah, very soon will be the parents of the queen. <laughs> hey. Maybe we can continue with my cooking. Hmm? I will serve you your food very soon. Ne queen. The throne and the prince in all land. Two elders and smiling again. No singing again. Oh, 
She moans, she moans. The trees and the wind and the thunder. The sign in the sky is so dark. I'm calling. How are you? I'm fine. Well, are you stalking me now? I'm calling. Not at all, my thing. No. So, where are you coming from? Somewhere. Somewhere that doesn't have a name? Maybe. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I just want to walk with you. You want to walk with me? Thank you very much for everything. Okay, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Of course. You can see me whenever you wish. Ah, <laughs> thank you. That's my love. Okay, um, my regards to your parents. They were here. Hmm? I can't stop admiring you. What? <laughs> 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 okay, you go now. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll back. see you in your shop. Sure. You Don't turn back. Just go. Bye. A medical practitioner, I don't subscribe to the kind of medicine you practice here, for it is ranked quackery in medicine. But looking at what you've achieved for yourself as a young man, I would say you are lucky. My brother, I am not going to allow anybody look down on what I am doing. Hmm? Medicine is beyond what you study in school or what you are practicing in the hospital. What exactly are you saying? That you believe medical science is inferior to you? None is inferior to each other. That is my argument. Yes, a lot of people went to the hospital, they couldn't get healed. But when they come down here, I give them my house, they get healed. Just like the Bishop of Anglican Communion got healed of his arthritis. That was after he must have gone to medical treatment and couldn't get healed. So there is nothing you will tell him now that he will listen to you. So this is possibly why Okoku is settled for you and not any other man in this community? Has this shifted from what we are talking to, to my fiancé? Uh, not exactly. But sincerely, I envy you a lot. Everything worked perfectly well for you. And let's say that the gods have made it possible. Who gods bless, no one can curse. This brings me to another question that disturbs me. 
At this age and time, why do you still make reference to the gods? Is it that you don't believe in God Almighty? Says who? I believe in God Almighty, as a Chukwu Gabriel. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He owns everything. Yes. But in our Igbo land, we have the gods. Yes. And we cannot do without them. Because they know us in and outside. The gods have made it possible for me to achieve what I have achieved in years. I don't even know how to do them. I, I don't believe that. If that is it's not my business of what you believe or not. You only have to do is to face what you learn. You, you learned in the, in the medical school and leave what you don't know. What I practice here is a combination of what I know and what you do. So face the one you know and live with my own. Face your own. Uh, my elder, the young man is still in search of a woman to marry. Okay. Or would you rather have him finally settled for the wrong one? And how long is that supposed to take? No wins away. For a man to pick a woman and make her his wife, how long does it take? To me, I don't think there's need for a rush. With due respect to Shiona, judging from what you just said now, it simply means you are not as intelligent as I used to think. What? You choke on Asanya? Is that an insult? No, no, you, you may call it whatever you want. But I just told you the truth. I don't see a reason for you to insult any of us. Are you talking to me? No, am I the one you're talking to? Can you book one? You should teach your words. You should choose your words. No, 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 no. You should choose your words. You should know that body right there. Body right there. We need to understand ourselves. Ha! That young man you have chosen to be the next king must look for a woman immediately to make his wife. Time is not on his side. Because the throne of an enemy will not remain vacant for a very long time. If he fails to choose a wife immediately, I am going to intervene. Hey, you don't need to ask me what that means. You will not understand. But when the need arises, all of you will understand it. Hey. I refuse to be intimidated. No, Mama. No. That's not possible. It can never happen. Never. What's the meaning of that, Okukwe? The meaning is that I'm in love with her twin. Yes, Mama, and you know it. We're planning on getting married. Are you for real, Okukwe? Okukwe, do you, do you just get the whole content of what I've just told you? Okay. Obioso is to be crowned the king of this great kingdom. And for that to take place, he needs a wife. Mama, I don't care. I don't care. I mean... It's not even making any sense. I, I don't know him. I've never been with him. I... Knowing him is not a problem. It's not a problem now, Okukwe. You will get to know him as the days go by. Mama, you don't get it. I'm in love with Atwini. We love each other. We're planning on getting married soon and you know about it. Obi also should get another young woman from an Enugu or even beyond. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Stop that foolishness of yours. You belong to another person. You belong to a, 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 a twenty. Who is a twenty? What do you mean? What am I even talking? Who is going to support you? The tradition of this our great kingdom says that the king has the right to choose anybody he wants to marry. And you can't say no. Who is going to support you? Okupe? Ibukwe? Munye king? Mungoma? You belong to him. Obioso, what kind of food do you eat? And how do you eat it? I'm asking because it seems that whatever you eat is different from what others eat. And perhaps you eat it through your nostrils. You went to her parents' house to tell them what exactly? To tell them exactly what you heard, Onyobuchi. To tell them that I have seen their daughter and I like her. This is unbelievable, Obioso. This is unbelievable. Why would you do that without consulting me? Consult you how? Onyebuchi. What I don't understand is why you're here shouting, raving and ranting and crying and screaming more than the bereaved. I found a woman that I like. And you made your stance on the matter now. But you are not with me. Or... Understand where I'm coming from. That woman belongs to another man. <laughs> is this how you want to start your reign? By taking another man's wife. 
just because she appeals to you. Can you stop it? All right, stop it. You're pushing it. You of all people should know better. You know the pressure being mounted on me by the elders and every other person in this community, my mom inclusive, to find a wife as soon as possible so that I can be crowned king. I understand you're under pressure. You don't understand. But you need a woman. But a woman who is free. Not another man's wife. She is not another man's wife, Ponyebuchi. Stop it. That girl is not another man's wife. Her bride price has not been paid by any man in Anilugu. And that makes her a free woman. I won't sit by and watch you cultivate another man's family. Mm -mm. Neither would I sit here and watch you castigate me and make me look like the bad guy. I'm not. I'm just a man who's found a woman who he really likes and wants to take her as a wife. Are you my friend at the point like this and support me or are you not going to support me? met with him. He only came to make his intention known to my parents. And what was your response? I couldn't have agreed. Ufimi, you are the only one for me. It's you or no other. You and I know that any king or any king to be in our land has the right to name any woman his wife. I know. But that doesn't still change a thing. The said woman becomes his wife only when she agrees. It cannot happen without her consent. Really? You think so? I mean, do you think we have all it takes to Resist the king? Obim, you once told me that you started as a chemist and that you were only administering modern medicine to people. Yes, I told you that. And I'm still administering orthodox medicine in some minor cases. You also said that you met face to face with the goddess of healing and everything changed. Exactly. The goddess exposed me to the other side of medicine. And that is why I can do what modern medicine cannot do. But how does that connect with the issue under discussion? Obin, can't you get the goddess to interfere in this? Listen, Obin. I don't want to be with another person but you. It's not as easy as you think. I don't know what to do. I don't just know what to do. Now what is wrong with Obioza? He left me a very beautiful woman. Charming. Irresistible. And he's running after one that, that belongs to another. What is wrong with him? Tell me. I am still surprised. No, you should not be surprised. Listen to me, Onyebuchi. He is your friend. All you need to do is talk some sense into him. Talk to him. Make him understand that I am the only woman in Anenugu that befits him as wife. Make him understand. Is he blind? Is he blind? Well, I was actually referring to you when I said I'm surprised. Not him. You were referring to me. How do you mean? Miss Oma, you've never liked Obioza. You suddenly developed this your love for Obioza the moment you heard he's been named the next king. Doesn't that tell me something about my sister? Something about your sister? How do you mean? What do you what is it that is telling you about your sister? That my sister is morally bankrupt. I do not care whatever it is you've allowed to be running through your head. I don't want to be no chacha. What is the meaning of that? Mess up. Everything is wrong with it. Why? Everything is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it, Mr. Oma. All you want is to be the queen of us. Really? That's all. Oh, really? This is how you see it. But that's the plain truth. I am disappointed. Highly disappointed that my sister has allowed herself to be on that 
ignoble list of desperate girls. I'm ashamed of you. If I me buko age. Obiozum, di mama, my love, my king. Hmm, your wish will always be my command. Would you? Yes. It's me. You've not seen me. You are too ugly and deeply in love. Of course. Is there any reason why I shouldn't? Eh? Thank you, Ju. Thank you. That's why I like you. You've always supported me. Eh? Thank you. Let's consider. You don't need to ask me to do it. You know what I can do already. I can do anything possible to make the king my in-law, <laughs> my personal in-law. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know. I must say that I am really happy to finally get a chance to to talk with you privately on this matter. I like you. I must tell you that from the moment I laid eyes on you, my mind hasn't rested. Thoughts of you has lingered on. I can't get you out of my head. You're beautiful. You're such a beautiful woman. Quite exceptional and unique too. I just want you, okay? Listen, I know how strange and uncomfortable this can be, but I need you to please feel free with me, okay? I mean no harm, absolutely no harm. Why are you doing this? Doing what? You can choose another young woman from an Enugu, or even beyond. Why me? Why you? Because you're beautiful and exceptional, that's why. Huh? Well, I belong to another. In fact, we are getting married soon. Very soon. Well, I'm aware of it. Really? Oh, yeah. You're aware of it and you still don't want to be considerate? Because you don't understand that I need you. I have no space in my heart for another woman in this community but you. You're the one that I want and I'm asking you to give us a chance for I am going to love you for the rest of my life. If you agree, Okokwe, to be my wife, I will treat you like a queen. A queen that you will eventually become and you're going to look back years from now and have no regrets. Please give this a chance. Listen, I appreciate all that. Honestly. But I'm sorry. It can't work. It can't be possible. Like I said before, I belong to another. Look, the elders of this community are on my neck. The beautiful people, as you know it, in Anenugu, are on my neck. For urgently, I need to sit on that throne. And one thing, just one thing, have delayed this entire process. But then I stand here and I look at you and I can tell but that delay is over. I don't understand. You are going to become my wife. Are you going to force me to become your wife? I'm not forcing you, Okukwe. 
I am guiding your destiny to become the next queen of Anini. I am the next king of this community and by the power vested in me, I declare you my wife to be. You are the one that I have chosen, Okukwe. You will be my wife. And nothing can change it. Mama, it is done. I have declared her my wife. And nothing can change it now, eh, Mama. Relax. Uh, very soon, we will all be moving to the palace where you shall enjoy the opulence of that beautiful edifice. As a king's mother. Um, what about the healer? The man of the gods that wanted to marry her before? Mama, you said wanted. That man has been wanting for a very long time. Hey, Mama, when a man is serious about a woman, he should make efforts to marry her immediately. I don't think the young man in question is serious, Mama. Mama. He's been leading her on for a long time. But, uh, Mama, you wanted this. You should be happy for me. Huh? You wanted me to find a woman after my heart, a woman that I would call my wife, so that we can follow through with this process. Now I am here, Mama, smile. Mama? Uh, Not today. You should be happy. You should be thanking the gods. And here you are mourning as if somebody died. Huh? Is she supposed to be happy? Why not, Nanya? She should be happy. I'm thanking the gods. Other girls are out there killing themselves to have the king marry them. But in our own case, he came by himself asking our daughter to marry him. Eh? She should be happy. Me, I'm happy. It's so sad. How you suddenly careless about a twin? A man that healed your mother of that chronic waist pain that kept her in the hospital for months. Bo! Where's my mother now? Is she not finally dead? She died in natural death as an old woman. Before then, there was nothing like waist pain. Artwin healed it completely. And now you are going to turn your back to that same man just because of royalty. Fiawa! Nani, you are not getting it. Mm. See? I know that uh, Atwini is a good man. Mm. And I know that the gods are going to help Atwini get a special woman that he will marry. But for this, our daughter here, she belongs to the king. Ugoma, the mother of the queen. He didn't even allow me to say anything. He just used his power as the coming king to declare me his wife. I'm so confused. <clears throat> I know how you feel, but at the same time, we must obey tradition. The coming king has chosen you, and there is nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. huh? I believe with time, you will get to love him. Bam. Please, try as much as you can to start getting used to it. Ooh. Oh, because it. A business. You will love him. Oh. A quite bit. Your Majesty. Adama, how are you? I'm good, Your Majesty. And how are you? I'm very well. Hope you slept well. Yes, I did. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Your Majesty. Yes. I I saw you in my dream. You saw me in your dream? Yes, Your Majesty. Really? What was it about? In the dream you proposed to me. <laughs> Say that again? I proposed to you. 
Yes, Your Majesty. Quite interesting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> You know, I was actually on my way to see the elders before you walked in. So maybe we do this some other time. Huh? Okay. Can we live together? Sure, you can come with me if you want. Believe me, Obi. It's not my fault. I am left with no option. But you are happy, aren't you? No, Bim, I'm not happy. I mean, how could I be happy knowing that I'm about becoming a wife to a man I'm yet to know? I'm equally in pain. This is too much for me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying, my love. I believe you. And also, I understand. It's not your fault. All this wouldn't have happened if I had paid your bright price all this while. Just like you said, we can't disobey tradition. In as much as I am dying slowly. Obi, <laughs> my love for you will never die. I will love you as long as I live. My elder. If anyone who does one of you. Oh yes, oh no, we are. This is good, finally. Oh yes, oh no, we are finally about to have a king. <laughs> My heart is filled with joy and happiness. I can't wait to see the day you finally sit on that. <laughs> Thank you very much, my elders. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Oh, yes. Thank you. Obioso, I see the event at if we have one attack, you are on here. We are yet to know who this beautiful maiden is. Yeah. Uh, her name is Okukwe. Okukwe, the daughter of Nze Obiefina. What? Okay, okay. okay. What? 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 Uh, you know. <laughs> did I hear you right? Yes, you did. Impossible. That's impossible. You just want to say, impossible. what is it? What is it? What does it mean you're not aware? Aware of what? The man he just mentioned is the one that is scheduled to be married to at the era. The one the girls have been using to administer healing to our people. She is the one. It's your point of saying, but they are not yet married. And you know what the tradition is. What are you the one saying this? I don't understand. Obiozo. So of all the maidens we have, all the beautiful women we have in this kingdom, you didn't see any to make your wife be the one that is said to be married to a part of our land? Ichi, hey. with all due respect, Ichi, you're beginning to push me to the wall. Is that what you think? That, that I, I am pushing you to the wall? What have I done to you, Ichi? What did I ever do to you? But tell me, the elders are here, let them hear. What have I ever done to you? Hey, that's a question. Oh, no. Is it possible for us to continue this meeting without him? Oh, it's your question. I don't it's see something. anything wrong with his choice. It is impossible. And by the way, he is the reason for this meeting. Yes, yes. That's, that's the essence of sitting here. Hmm. Chege, my friend. Yes? You need to see the excitement of his look when I told him about the train. He held me close and said, I can't just wait for this dream to come true. <laughs> really? Yes. Am I not lucky I'm blessed? <clears throat> Which one is home again? Don't tell me you've joined Chizo Basley. Uh uh. Why would you think like that? I don't know eh? for you. Uh, see, the truth is that I'm, I'm so confused. Eh? Chizo would say Obiozo is interested in her. And here you are saying the same thing. Now tell me, what do I believe in? Biko, Biko, don't, don't mind that fool. Why would the Obiozo want to settle for her? She's mm. short, 
She's not intelligent. Now tell me, yeah. if Obioso settles for her, won't you be among those that will vote him out for making a wrong choice? Oh, Abba! There we go. <laughs> I missed it. Uh uh. Adoma. Where are you going? Leave her, let her go. Please, I don't want to share the same air with her. Listen, you both have finally become enemies. And I don't like it. Eh? You should be telling her that though. She smiles behind me in class measurements. And I wouldn't want to be insulted with possible comparison. Class go. It's, yes, of course. It's okay, I know. My friend, how are you? You look good. Calm down, my friend. This is not the end of the road. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. I do. There's nothing you can do about it. Same as Okokwe. My friend. Just try and let go. Move on. With time, the wound will surely heal. Why would you just choose to marry the one I love? Why? He did so because of the power he has as the next king. To me, that is a power misuse. Cruzal abuse of power. But the gods are watching. Keep the gods out of this. Come on, my friend. Be a man. What you be will definitely be. Naji, our Aninubu is a land of beautiful women. In fact, there is no family you will enter today that you will not see more than one or hundred beautiful women. So why must Obiozo focus on that one that I've decided to make mine? Why? Friend, you decided to marry Okukwe since last year. And to the best of my knowledge, you have all the finances to execute that objective. What are you possibly insinuating? I don't want to upset my friend by telling him he should have married that babe since last year. By now, she would have been a mother or expecting a child. But you decided to delay because of reasons best known to you. Now she's off your grip and you have to live with it. You have to settle for another in time. There's a lot of choices for you. You're not done with combing your hair. Yes, I'm not. And what business of yours it is? It is my hair. So whatever time I decide to spend on my hair, it is my business and mine alone. When would you learn to talk like a woman? Eh? Now, so to hurry on. Oye, Buchi. Not today. Please. Do not disturb me. I am not in that mood, though. Biko. Sorry. Hey. Is the food ready? Hey. But you just asked me if I uh, wasn't done with my hair. I said yes. I'm not done with my hair. Or I'm now a witch that will do two things at the same time. Make my hair and still make food. What is it? Listen, Oyebuchi. I asked you to talk to Obiozo. Well, what did you do instead? You referred to me as morally bankrupt. And a desperate woman. Tell me. Which reasonable brother will see something that will benefit his sister and let it slip off her fingers? Okay, you want to continue referring to Obiozo as your majesty, your highness. If you refer to him as an in-law, will you die? Will you die? I am asking you. Oh yeah, Buchi, will you die? Something that can make you sit in the corridor of power. No! You want to come back home every day and see oh, uh, uh, Mesoma at home. Mesoma, have you not cooked the food? Mesoma, have you not washed the dishes? Mesoma! You, <laughs> you will starve to death. You know you have not told me the exact thing you saw in her. I don't know how to explain it, Mom, but look, how I feel about Okukwe is just... Uh, 
that's inexplicable. Uh, she's just unique. My kind of woman. Relax, man. Very soon you get to spend time with her in the palace. And you'll see what I have seen. What about her, Tuini? Not a problem, mom. I have told you countless times, he is not a problem. I don't know why I'm feeling somehow about this whole thing. Really, you have nothing to worry about, mom. Stop feeling somehow about it and be happy. Uh, by the way, mama, do you know that Ichi Okwana Sanya was quite irritated the moment I mentioned Nokukwe to the others today as my choice for a wife? You should know Ichi Okwana Sanya by now. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> but I think I can, I can actually guess the reason he did that today. What's his reason? The girl you declared to marry yes. belongs to someone else. Mama, I'll need to cut some rest. I'm tired. It's been a long day. We'll talk later. Uh -huh. There must be something about her that he is not willing to say. What could that be? Obi, I don't know what you're planning to say. But please, don't say anything that will break my heart, please. I've come to tell you that I cannot bear the pains anymore. I've decided to relocate to Unubi, my mother's place. Maybe stay there until the wound gets healed. I cannot watch you marry another. And I cannot stop you either. You always be my heart. Obi, why are you doing this? Why are you giving up without a fight? We cannot fight the one already named the king. We cannot. I have decided to allow you to concentrate. My love. Happiness may elude you for some time. But with time. You will overcome it. Okay? I always love you. You always be my heart. Please stop crying. If the eyes can see, if the ears can hear, if I will know you. I never do. That's not what you do, no, you need to have a walk. Bossendo <laughs>
by the power vested in me. As you know, the traditional prime minister of an Enugu kingdom. I hereby crown you as Obiozo of an Enugu. By this coronation, you are the sole custodian of the offer of an Enugu. This throne and the entire palace is yours. Whatever you say is final until you join your ancestors. Oh, Chihue! As soon as I fucking did that one. I can't do a fucking job for me. I can't do a fucking In a similar day, I crown you the Lord of an enemy. Perfectly fine, and if you say so, you know, I'm so happy with your marriage to my son. My daughter, I want you to point on what we have become the royal family of an Enugu kingdom. Don't you think the gods have a hand in this? <laughs> I think so, Nick. You are not just the great warrior of this kingdom, but you are also a great seer. I have called you here to ask, to find out if anything has changed. Do 
by the gods, my king, nothing has changed. Oh. Oh, Johannes. A man appeared to me in my dream last night and told me that a very dangerous charm was conjured and buried somewhere in this land by the former king. And that this charm was imported from Igala land. He also told me that if we do not do something immediately to demystify the power of that charm, that the resulting effect will be quite terrifying. And I ask you again, Umbuze, again, not just as a warrior of this great kingdom, but as one who's never lost any battle, and as one who has been blessed by the gods with the gift of seeing, and was they tell me what this man told me in my dream? Is it true? The previous king is Onaga planted a charm somewhere. The purpose of the charm is to destroy a new one who emerges, the king, if not his son or anyone from his lineage. But that should not bother you. You are not his son. You are not from his lineage. But you are finally the king. By the verdict of the gods, nothing shall happen to you. However, we must do something. We must find the charm. We cannot sit back and rest on our oars. What do we do? Do you know where this charm is buried? Find it, my king. If the eyes can see, if the ears can hear, if I will know be, if I will know be, if the eyes can see, if the ears can hear. without a fight. Was she right? Did I surrender my woman without a fight? This is it, Your Majesty. Because of my ancestors. What is this? Who was this man in my dream? 
He could be one of the ancestors coming to save you from a planned danger. It will not be a bad idea if you kill a ram to this ancestor. I agree with you, Mbuze. Immediately we destroy this charm. We shall call everyone together to celebrate that ancestor that took the initiative to come one way. Uh, Mbuze, you said that we shall kill a ram. Yes, Your Majesty. We'll make it a cow. Ha! Asna, one of our own. I come here to make a robbery. I'm not going to be a robber. I'm not You better come out of this mood of yours soon. It's not going to help you. Our daughter is now the queen of this great kingdom. And we are the parents. You should be happy. Is that all you care about? What else? Will I allow to apply my thoughts? Our daughter is now the queen in that converted palace. And we are the parents. You know the implication. Very soon we will be partakers in the sharing of the revenue of this great kingdom. Do you even care to know if our daughter is happy in that marriage or not? Do you care? Why not? She should be happy now. Mm. Why wouldn't she be happy? Oh, you think it's easy to become the queen of this great land? No. She should be happy. <sighs> I'm so disappointed to finally know the kind of woman I married to. Yes, you mean your daughter's happiness means nothing to you at all. I'm ashamed of you. Ashamed of me? Of course her daughter should be happy. Okay, that she's not happy today does not mean she will not be happy tomorrow. Do you, do you even think that it's easy? Eh? It's not easy to become the queen of this great land. You should realize that. Trust me, Okwe is going to be happy at the end of the day. But don't forget the sharing of this revenue I'm talking about. Mama Queen. That's what I am. Mm. We cannot fight the one already named the king. We cannot. I have decided to allow you concentrate. My love. Happiness may elude you for some time. But with time, you will overcome it. Okay? I always love you. You always be my heart. I have not overcome it as he said, for happiness still eludes me. What am I going to do?
um, listen to me. What has happened has happened. If you like, think from now to tomorrow. Trust me, nothing will change. You don't understand. You don't. Obiozo broke my heart. Is Obiozo is the man we are talking about? I don't care. I'm heartbroken here. Why is your heart broken? To the best of my knowledge, he never gave anyone the pressure that he is committed. So, why is your heart broken? I am the one who is heartbroken. Because I have been the one who he cared for. Hmm. But I lost him regardless of all my efforts. Hmm. I saw this coming. I saw it coming. But I never wanted to say anything about it. Because if I do, you both will see me as an enemy of progress. So, I decided to keep to myself. Um, see, you, you both should listen to me. What has happened has happened. The only thing I can say here is, you just calm down. Eh? Be happy again, friends, like we used to. Mm -hmm. huh? am, am I not fine anymore? No, I'm not fine anymore. Check in, check out. My orders. Mbuze here. He is indeed a great seer. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. <laughs> so that was his own guy's attention. And the girls, it didn't work for him. But uh, who exactly is this ancestor that appeared to have killed in his dream? A benevolent ancestor, if you ask me. I think we should do what the king suggested. Kill a cow for him. So that other ancestors will be encouraged to come to us with vital information such as this. I agree. But it's still strange to me that Ezonaga will plan this level of evil against our king. Very strange. I agree. But... Um... What is important is that through the gifts of the gods in the life of Mbuze here, um, his evil plans have been thwarted. <laughs> uh, nothing will happen to an Enugu. Nothing will happen to the throne. You say, is that what you uh, My orders, as you all know, um, Mbuze here is the head guy of the kingdom. But I want to make it official that he is now the head seer in the king's court. <laughs> Thank you, my elders. The gods have given us a good king, and we all have the duty to make his reign glorious. Hello. Um, Ichi Okwana Aswanya. You have been unusually quiet. Oh, if a man. <laughs> uh, or is it that um, you have not been listening to all that we have been saying here? Mm? Before you say anything, let me quickly remind you that I am no longer the abuser that you used to know. I am not the crown king of an Enugu. Oh, yes. Wow, wow. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> oh, yes, I never said you are not. I wouldn't know why you have to single me out. For obvious reasons. Enough. Why can't you show some respect to our king? Your king. Okay. Our uh, king. Do you know what? I am done with this meeting. Huh? When you finally kill the cow, send my she across to me. Can you hear you? He's interested in the cow. I'm not interested in the king, in our king that is providing the cow. Oh, is he not daydreaming? Your Majesty, my elders in council, let me advise. At this point in time, we all have to fight with our brain. Let us not play into his hands. Let us not allow ourselves to be distracted by this. My daughter, it is okay. Stop crying. 
Stop, stop. <laughs> but you should know that that is the right thing to do. He's your husband, remember? And both of you have to make children. Oh? Hey, oh, stop, 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 stop. It's okay. Don't cry. Crying is not going to do you any good. Rather, it will cause a lot of headache for you. Oh? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's the right thing to do. Ogini, what is it? Why are you always angry? Oh, you know I'm always angry. And I guess you have come here to make me angry the more. I will take your rudeness for love. Isigini. Mesoma. Ibusoma. You see, Meso, you know I love you. I love you, see, from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Nemezi, you came to my father's house to tell me that you love me. <laughs> yes, I love you. You came to my father's house. Don't tell me that you love me. Nemezie, you are not afraid. You came here to tell me this rubbish. Hey! So I am the abuse that I have been waiting for all my life to tell me about love. He never told me about love. Let alone marry me. He did not marry me. He was not married to Okuwe. And you are here telling me about love. Talking in why you shouting? Let this cause son of a cause man of an enuk come here to preach love to me. And the abuse. Don't even ask me. Oh, yeah, Buchi, you are the major part of my problem. You are the reason I am this way in this life. Your friend of yours, you could not talk him into marrying me, your sister. You allowed him to go and marry your kukwe. And you're here asking me what the problem is. Please do not ask me. You are the reason of my problem. You are the reason I am like this. Don't ask me. Oh. Don't ask me. Go to Poland. Because in my next life, I do not want to be a real Buchi's sister. I don't want to know a real Buchi. I do not want to know anymore. You are gradually going mad. People go to Allah, Miss Oma. How do I explain to Miss Oma that marriage is not my force? How? Eh? Darling, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm ashamed of what I've done to you. But I know, I know it was wrong. I know I should have, you know, had my way with you that way. Maybe sometimes, you know, I just get too excited. I just want you all with me and all in, I'm all into you. I'm, I'm sorry. I promise you next time I'll be gentle. Give you my word, darling. I need you to please forgive me. Look around you, sweetheart. The palace is quiet without your smile. You're not talking to me, skin. I'll do right by you. Okay. I will treat you nicely like I promised you before we got married. I want to be your king, the one that puts a smile on your face. Huh? I love you. Now and always. Told me that Obiozo would do this to me. 
I wouldn't have believed it. Eh? He never even acted like there was someone else. Hi. <sighs> That's to tell you that men are unpredictable. Especially the ones that are destined to be king. They can kill and nobody will know. After all my expectations, eh? it is still like a dream to me. Eh? And I better wake up from this dream. Oh. I better wake up. Hi. It has happened, my dear friend. But that doesn't mean you should lose hope on getting another man. Mm -hmm. Tell me, who do you compare with your not to? Who? It doesn't matter. Eh? It doesn't matter. All I know is that it's not the end of road for you. Look at him, Nicole. You have all it takes. The one who values you will locate you one day and he will come begging. I like the sound of that. He will come begging. Now that's exactly the kind of man I want. Someone who will always beg me for things. And that is the kind of man you will get. Forget about his love and his heartbreak. And focus on the next man. Nothing happened, Your Majesty. You cannot say nothing happened. We need answers, and that is why we are all seated here. Mbuzi, what exactly do you mean? Huh? Nothing happened to your missing guard, Your Majesty. He ordered her to a torture for someone from there promising a job that would give him more money. Is that not greed? Huh? You see? <laughs> uh, if he wanted a raise, he should have just, you know, told, but regardless, um, let's be thankful to the gods that he's alive. Because yes, 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 yes. some faction of the community would have um, suggested I used him for something. Uh, I mean, how else do we explain that he goes missing barely one month after I become king? Uh, <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not even bothered about what our people will always think. I am bothered about it, can I? Why would he do such a thing without telling anyone, not even his fellow guards? Uh, oh no, I've always known that man, that young man, as someone who could do such a thing. Is that so? Yes. Mm. Well, regardless, we are thankful to the gods he's alive. Uh, and um, Buse, thank you. You're indeed my backbone, and I shall reward you. Huh? <laughs> Your Majesty, you mustn't reward me. I'm only exercising my gift. Something worries you. I can see it. It's all over you. You look worried. You look bothered. I just want to know what it is. I want to know what it's about. Nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You look worried. You look troubled. I just want to know what it is. I, I, tell me. Tell me. What I is it? Understand. I said I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. So you have also noticed it, Mom? Yes, I have, my son. 
She's been acting kind of weird lately. And she would always claim to be fine whenever I ask. Same thing she tells me. Every time I ask, she tells me, my king, I'm fine. Everything is okay. Mom, but I know everything is not okay. I know there is a problem somewhere. I just can't place it, but I know there is a problem. You know? I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do to get her to speak. Because there is a problem. Something is wrong with Okukwe. And I really don't want to force her into doing anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't even need to force her. You are the king and the one who holds the offer of your name. You can compel anyone to give you any information in sake. You can compel her to talk. Because I know that something is not right somewhere. Onyechi, you are still on this. You've not done anything. Are you okay? Mama, I'm okay. Mama, I'm not okay. Ha! Kegu and Kegu, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not okay. What happened? Guam. Mama, it's about the king. What about the king? I don't know why he will finally settle for Goku. Una hokola no me shishie. Look at this girl. So you are here thinking about the king and his wife. Hmm? It's been a month now. Mama, I know. But the moment won't let me be. Onye, I have warned you to stay away from that family. That rejected you, Onye. Don't provoke me, oh. I'm going out. If you like, you can stay here. I keep preparing this till I meet you here. If I meet you here, you get it out with me. Kurukwa Mnaka, Gambia. I gave him my heart and he turned me down. Did they ever know peace? Struggling this way. You know, I want you. Uh, hmm. Your Highness. Yes, what? I, I'm not in the mood. Ah, uh, no. You, you have to be in the mood tonight. Eh? I, I, I have been waiting. Eh? I, I'm in the mood. Eh? I'm really in the mood. No, I'm sorry, but eh? I'm not just in the mood. When are you in the mood? Stop. Let it alone. Why, why are you like this? He said I'm not in the mood. But I'm your husband. You can't tell your husband you're not in the mood. I'm my wife now. Come on. He said I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'll take it easy. Come on. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Okay, I'll be, I'll be gentle. I'll be gentle. Eh? Please. Um. Mama, why is he always doing this? I have lost count of number of times he has raped me. My daughter, how can you say that a man raped his wife? It's not possible now. Huh? It's not. He does it all the time, Nick. He does it all the time. When a woman says she's not in the mood, is that not supposed to be obeyed? My daughter, I am sorry you feel that way. Eh? I am sorry. Both of you need children. Eh? You need children. And there's no other way to go about it than that. 
Maybe this is the reason you have not conceived. Because it is not coming from your heart. Learn to be on the same page with your husband. It helps. It's okay, Anna Sanya. It's okay, Oku Anna Sanya. You are provoking me. Do you hear me? Mind you, I am your king. You are provoking me. I don't know why the king is angry. What have I said? I know why I am tolerating your excesses. Do not see my tolerance as weakness. I don't understand. Well, too many things can happen. Uh, but I'm not going to allow anybody to intimidate me. Ichi, do you want me to kill you? Based on what he has done and the insulting words he has used on our way, if he is killed, his blood will be on his head. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gods will not allow anybody to kill me because I am saying the truth. Let, let me repeat what I say that caused the, this problem. Ofufwe is not a whale. For she has not received the sword of the whales from the departed queens of this kingdom. The immediate past queen has not defined her position by confirming her as a queen, by giving her the sword of the queens. That is our tradition? Or are we now claiming that we don't know our tradition? She is a queen. It's her. My wife is a queen. I married her properly. Why has she not received the sword of the queens from the previous queens if you married her properly like you said? <laughs> we have to be very careful. The departed mother of this kingdom, they have not defined her position as a queen. They have not given her the sword of the queen. And as far as I am concerned, the queen is not a queen. Oh no, we, you should be able to speak out. You know your problem. What? Oh, what is that? Your problem is that you are insanely enslaved to some pieces of anachronistic tradition. Wake up from your slumber. We've come a long way. Come back. Oh no, why are you the one speaking? Your Majesty, I may not know much about our tradition, but I have a reason to believe that man is right. I married the cook properly, on your butchery. I married her properly. I don't understand why all of this is happening. Well, I'm of the opinion that you give her some time. I'm sure the late queen will soon decide her fate by appearing to give her the all-important sword. You think so? Yes, I, I think so. Uh, if that man is certain that the departed queens are the ones saddled with the responsibility of giving the sword to the new queen. Then all we have to do is to sit back and wait, believing that they will give it to her. How is she, by the way? I can't even tell. I don't understand. One of the maids ran to me a couple of days ago and told me that she ran out of the palace one afternoon, scared, screaming. In fear and the problem I have is that Okukwe will not tell you anything. You ask her, she tells you she's all right. You scare me with this piece of information. And why are you not doing something about it? What can I do? What can I do? She won't speak. You ask her, are you okay? She'll tell you everything is fine. But I can see her that she's not fine.
I'm just confused. Of course, I'm using you. Eh? What is funny about what I said? Of course, it is funny. Oh, yeah, but she, it is funny. Your friend Obioso left me and went and married the wrong woman. What did you expect? No, uh, what were you expecting? Or, or should I even ask? What was he expecting? Miss Oma, mm -hmm. you know what? Mm. Sometimes I find it very difficult to understand you. I know why that is. Because I am the first and last of my kind. People have to come up to my level before they can understand me. I just told you what the king told me about his wife. And you're here talking nonsense. Mm. Eh? Mm. To you, my brother, I am talking nonsense. Because we both live here together. But to those that know, they will understand that I am making a whole lot of sense. When a man marries the wrong woman, his life becomes wrong right from that day. Or oh, don't you know it? Listen, continue to undermine me. But I know, as well as you know, that I am miles ahead of the one he married. I don't know why I told you this. He confided in me as a friend. I told you as a sister. Don't go out there to broadcast it. Hi, one name. There are so many things you can think of when it comes to meso. When it comes to gossip, no. My time is too precious to engage in gossip. No, give me some credit. Oh? Mom, I'm quite concerned about the Queen receiving this award. I am. But I think I'm more concerned about her getting pregnant. You know, giving me a child. I am positive that if she goes ahead to give me a child, a male child precisely, she will still receive the sword. Nothing stops it. Just like um, what I told her, I let her know that she has not taken in because she does not put her mind to it. My point exactly, Mom. What do we need to do to get her to that point? She needs to put her mind to it. Son, I have to be very blunt with you here. Make love to your wife. You don't force her to. You have to pet your wife, love her. <laughs> and she will definitely relax. Mom, do you not think that I know these things and apply them? I have been trying. I have been doing my best. But she's quite rigid, I must tell you, mother. She tells you she's not in the mood, she insists she doesn't want to do it, you know. She comes up with every and any excuse to just, you know, shy away from it. Son, if she says she's not in the mood, then put her in the mood. How? Listen, I am a woman, I know what I'm talking about. You have to pet her. You have to show her so much love and care. You have to take it easy with her. And she will relax. Sweet words soften every heart. True. Good. And that is why I have tried everything in the books. But Okukwe is not yielding. And I'm beginning to think that she likes it the way we've been having it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No woman likes to do something against her will, especially lovemaking. You wouldn't believe that she called it rape. Yes. You have to be easy. <laughs> you have to take it easy with her. What if I try and it doesn't work? It will surely work. Trust me, I'm a woman. Baby. you to know that it comes from the deepest part of my heart because I really do. I love you. 
you so much. But I, I need you to bear with me. Right? I, I act the way I act sometimes. That's because I hunger for you, babe. Huh? I look at you and I just want to be all over you, darling. For you're my wife. I want you to be the mother of all my children. I don't want to have reasons to look elsewhere. I don't want a second one. you, baby. Please. Huh? Listen, I, 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 I know how, I know how things have been around here lately. But I want you and I to learn to live in peace as man and wife. Huh? I know I hurt you sometimes, especially when I take you against your wish. I, I know it breaks your heart. But I'm sorry. I hate to hurt you, baby. I, I hate to see you cry. It's just that I can't. So please, darling, can you, can you just, you know, let go of yourself for me, you know, just let me be your husband, let me, you know, just, you know, just uh, let uh, me uh, take charge of your body, baby, let me make you feel like a woman, let me love you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm huh? sorry, I'm sorry, Majesty. What, what are you sorry about? You, you haven't done anything wrong now, have you? I'm sorry, but... I, I, I can't give you what you're asking. What do you mean you can't give me what I'm asking for? Okukwe, you're my wife. Huh? No, talk to me. I, I, I want to know why you cannot, you know, let me, you know, possess what is rightfully mine. You know, what do you mean? You, you can't give me what I'm asking for. No, speak to me, Okukwe. I want to know. You, what? No, I am saying that I want you. I'm saying that you're my wife. You, uh, what? Please. Please what? Please what? I want you. Do you not want me? You shouldn't be sorry, all right? You should be enjoying the moment. You can't tell me that you're sorry. Ah! Thank you for a new day. Thank you, the central deity. <sighs> Greetings, Ezemo. I'm asking you questions. If you stand in there and walk in, what are your responsibilities? Here! Apologies, Your Majesty. We can't tell her and when she left the palace. Oh, Your Majesty, she took us on our ways. She took the both of you on our ways? Yes, Your Majesty. Huh? <laughs> Begin to pray. Do you hear me? Begin to pray very hard to the gods. Nothing happens to my wife and I find her. Else I will hold the both of you responsible. Do you hear me? Yes, Your Majesty.
Is it that she did not tell any of you where she was going? No, no, she did not. No such thing there. She didn't tell us anything. Or she told you not to tell when you're asked. No, no. no. I never believed that a day would come when I would have to ask you to look into my personal affairs and begin to find my wife. But as it stands, the queen of Anenugu is missing. We are seated here because we need answers. I, your king, I need your help. Please look into the horn and tell me what you see. What did you see? It was a speak. Your Majesty, I can't see a thing. Was they look again? You would see something. Huh? What have you seen? I'm as confused as you are. But this has never happened. No, Namuse. We've always known you to be a great seer with the gift of the gods. Exactly. And you have been seen for the king ever since then. Mbuse. Not now. Not today. You cannot let me down now. Eh? Okay. Could you just look again one more time? I am positive. I trust you. Eh? My wife cannot just get missing without a trace. It is not possible. Eh? Yes. Your Majesty, why don't we give her some time and see if she can recover? Yes. Ah, Che, you don't know my wife. Uh, Okukwe would not just leave this palace like that. Something is attached to this. I can't feel it. Ah, Mbuse. Your Majesty. What do I do? I suggest we send for the chief priest. I believe he has something to say. Ezemo, you heard me right. I am no longer interested in marrying. I believe you are the right person to talk to. That's why I came here. And also to inform you that henceforth, I'll be staying here with you. Honestly, my queen, I don't understand you. I am not a queen. I have never been a queen. Don't say this. Do not say this. The king found you for himself. Declared you his wife. You are aware the elders were there when Ono crowned you queen of Anengu. Is there more? Crowning someone a queen is different from the person actually being a queen. I was crowned a queen quite all right. But I am not a queen. And I have come to the end of that infamous era in my life. I came to you as the chief priest of my land to stay with you. Are you going to send me away? You and your husband are having problems. But it is normal, it is expected. With time, you get 
rid of it. It will become over. So I would like you to go back to your husband <laughs> and give me some time to intervene. I'm sorry, Ezemo. My mind is made up. I came straight to you, not even to my parents, because I know that my husband could attempt to kill me. How could you say that? How would a king kill his wife? <laughs> Ezemo, you may dismiss it, but it's a real threat. That is why I have come to surrender to you and by extension to the deity of our land. Are you prepared to say this before the staff of the central deity of Anenu? I am prepared. Oh, where if you be I summoned you here because Umbuze. The king's seer could not see anything. But he saw something, though, which is the fact that you know something. And so he appeals to me and the others to invite you here. So I ask you, Wifi, where is my wife? And what is happening to her? My king, the queen is not missing. She only abdicated her position as the queen. She what? You heard me right, your majesty. She has stopped being your wife. And right now, she is under the protection of the staff of the central deity of Anenu. Mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. So as I speak to you right now, Your Majesty, she is in my place. Yeah. She's at, at your place, doing what exactly? I mean, how? Why? I've never had such a thing before. What could she be doing in your place? Huh? What can she be in your place? I said it. <laughs> This woman has another man somewhere. <laughs> and if you will tell me who that man is and where he is. Your Majesty, she has no such a man in her life. For she has sworn on the sacredness of the staff of the central deity of Anenugu. All she told me is that she walked out on you simply because there is a spirit in this palace that torments her life. There's a spirit here that torments her. What spirit? It is what it is, ma'am. It is what it is. What other proof do we need to confirm that she's one of with a different man? She couldn't even get pregnant here. She couldn't even give me a child. And now she's with, with a different man? My son. She ran to the chief priest. Oh, please, you even confirmed what the man said. That she swore on the offer of the central deity of an Enugu kingdom. Oh, please, please, spare me. Why, why do you keep defending this woman? Son, I am not defending her. I am speaking of a woman I know very well. You know her? Yes. <laughs> you think you know her? Listen, I see. Listen, son, I will advise you to go to Wayfield Ramadanabu's place and talk to her. Please don't say no. Please don't say no. <laughs> Great news. Wonderful, beautiful news. I mean, this is I've ever had. Oh, don't misunderstand me, my brother. I am just so happy. Hey! Can you tell me exactly why you're happy? I am happy. I'm happy because your friend of Yoda is finally going to look at me now as his queen. Something he was supposed to do way before now. I was only keeping this privilege for him because he's your friend. Oh. 
kid he was married. One stupid possessed Okukwe that could not even give him a child. I won't be a party to that. Don't cast aspersions on a woman who already surrendered to the central deity of Anenu. Humans don't mess with deities. A dear pal is here. What about up here? Oh, you betray your gimme. Must you always find a way to kill joy? I was not talking about the deity. Why are you smuggling the deity into this world? I'm talking about Okukwe. Eh? This is not my mouth. Don't I have the full right to use it as, as, as much as I want and how it pleases me? I'm talking about that possession. Uh, I You're said talking don't about... talk about her like that. I won't be a party to it. Oh, it's so bad. Uh. But please, uh, let me tell you. In all sincerity of heart, I am believing that you will not disappoint me this time, Onyebuchi. I don't understand. What do you mean? Can you see? Can you say you don't understand? Don't pretend like you don't understand what I'm talking about. Don't disappoint me. Don't. This is a great opportunity for me to achieve what I once lost. You will never cease to amaze me, Chizoba. Didn't you hear the said a particular spirit tormented her life all the while she lived in the palace? How is that my business? Probably the spirit knows that she was not the queen of this kingdom. That was why the spirit tormented her. Me, I am the queen of this kingdom. Chizoba, you can go ahead and have the king all to yourself. I am no longer interested. Wait, did I just hear you say that? Yes, you did. For whatever that will make your queen run from the palace must be something serious. I was prepared to be your queen, but I wasn't prepared to die. <clears throat> I am so glad to hear you say this. You are absolutely correct, my dear. Mm -hmm. She has finally given up. I know you can never compete with me. She's a brother that shines brighter than the morning star. <laughs> Who can dare me? Jesus. <laughs> you have not still said anything. I thought I've told you already. Eh? Did you tell me? I am no longer interested. Did you really mean what you just said? Of course, Suju. Eh? The queen ran from the palace because she was tormented by an evil spirit. Who knows what the spirit could be? Eh? To me, that's a bad development. And that has made me lose interest. Nkole. I can't believe you. You have to believe it too. Eh? Don't you think that this is the best time for you to try your luck? And see if you could win the king and become the queen like you've always wished. Would you? You can go and try your luck. But as for me, I am no longer interested. Eh? My life is too precious for me. I don't want to die young. Uh -uh. Who did I offend? None. What did we do to Okukwe that made her brought this level of shame to our family? Ugoma, I totally disagree with you on that. You disagree with me? Meaning what? Okukwe has not brought any shame to us. We must wait for her to hear from her. Eh? She had already submitted herself under the protection of the central deity of Anenugu. And it remains a sacrilege for anyone to castigate her without being sure. What is wrong with you? Okukwe. Get it for. Mama. Mama, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I want you to reason with me on this. I have not moved in my spirit to marry Obiozo. If I finally do so, I married him against my wish. Mama, please. See reasons oh, with me, please. Whatever spirit that is in you here, that is making you to choose to marry a 20, ordinary chemist man, Omohomoto, only motorcycle, as against the king to be of this great kingdom, the king that will inherit the palace, then he will be in charge of all the revenue in this kingdom. It's a backward spirit. And Ugoma will jump and pass the spirit. 
I, I say no to it. See, stop that. Mama. You are going to be the queen. Mama, you don't understand. There's no spirit inside me. <laughs> I'm talking of intention as a woman. It is not driving me towards Obiozo. Whether internal or external, you don't have a choice here. What I am sure is that you are going to marry Obiozo. For whatever, backward never. And what exactly is your point? My point is that Okukwe left the king because she doesn't love him. Ugoma, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You heard our daughter said a spirit tormented her while she was in the palace. Did you miss that part or what? Did you think? I am confused. You are more than confused. Honestly, Nani, I am getting more confused on daily basis. Who have you offended? What useless spirit will go and chase my daughter away from that great palace? Huh? No, Mba. Is it possible that she has another man like I think? But she, she swore on the staff of the central deity that she wouldn't dare to do such. Or does it mean that she also lied to the deity? A spirit tormented her life. Is that also true? What spirit? What spirit could that be? Ah, I need to see her. I humble myself before the king. May you reign forever. Mess or the sister to your friend is here to see you. Should I let her in? Let her come. Greetings, my amiable king. I am sure you make a glorious reign. Miss Oma, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Why have you come? Are you here to see me on your own or you're here because your brother asked you to come see me? Can I at least sit? I am here on my own account, and that is because I have missed you. Really? Yes, really. Hmm. You look bored. Is it, is it anything I can handle? Is there something I can do? I'm very fine, Miss Yes, I, I understand you perfectly. But just so you know, if there's any way I can help, I'll be glad to help. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If need be, I'll let you. <laughs> sure. And knowing that I am a very important guest here, I'm thinking that you have them entertain me. I, but I, I told us, I told us that she was never a queen because she didn't receive son of the queen from the late queen. And you all dismissed me. What is happening now? Finally, am I not vindicated? Well, um, each year, Okwana Sanya, you are right. She was supposed to receive the son of the queen. Yes. So you agree with me now? You agree with me here now? Did you agree with me ever before the king? It is all 
No, 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 no. How then is it like? We don't lose the point. How then is it like? Why do we sit like men and behave like women? No, even women have become more aggressive than us. Hey, to the best of my knowledge, she told the Zobiozo that her heart was with another, another man. That means from the deepest part of her heart, she was already married to another man. Obiozo used his power as the one named as the coming king to take another man's wife. Well, we all know that a king, or a king to be in our land, has the right to name any woman his wife. Any woman, you say? That is to say, the one who is free. The one in question is not free. That is what I know. And that is the truth that all of you know, but have continuously refused to acknowledge. Ezo B also used his power to take another man's wife. And if you ask me, I will tell you that he is a coward. That's why he will do what he did. It is our king that we are talking about. And he's right. Eh? Calling him a coward automatically means you are passing a vote of no confidence on him. I am not going to dwell on that. Because from the deepest part of your heart, you see, Honora, you know that I am telling this council the truth. Stop undermining our king. Stop that. It is not right. Honora. What happened to the woman? Okay, can me. In the hierarchy of justice administration in this kingdom, where are you placed? No, who are you on that hierarchy to be talking back to a man like me? Who? Oh. Please, show some respect to our king. Respect should be given to those who are worth it. Not those who don't who, who don't deserve respect. How can you give them respect? As a viewer that you are defending, broke a man and took his wife because that man was helpless. And that man happens to be a man of our land. All of us are supposed to be very angry. Why are we defending him? You know what? Why are we defending him? A man that can do that does not deserve any iota of respect from me. We all know what is right, please. Let us do it. Please, let us do it. What is it between you and Ezo Biozo that is making you so excited? Mo, I've been seeing for some time now. And the way I'm seeing you, he'll marry me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Yeshi. Are you mad? Mama, what do you mean? I want you to stay away from King Obiozo, who rejected you before he became a king. Didn't I? Mama, but I... Shut up! Mm. Not just that. His wife ran away from the palace with the story of a spirit tormenting her life. And you are here telling me that he will marry you. Biko Kwanu, am I the one that gave birth to this fool? Now, let me warn you. Let this be the last time you will ever discuss that with me. And if you know what is good for you, you better start desisting from associating with him. Stupid girl! What do you see? I must be honest with you, Your Majesty. This is my turn. Your Majesty, I suggest you go to Wefu Ubamal Nabu's place and see her. At least see her and hear from her. Do you like this place? I mean, do you enjoy staying in this house with me? Of course, as a mom. I feel relaxed and comfortable here. My mind is at peace, unlike when I was staying in the palace. <sighs> it's all I need to know. 
if you need anything, tell me. Hmm? Thank you, Zemo. We cannot Believe me, son, you're doing the right thing. Hmm? You really need to see and hear from her. May you live long, my king. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chizoba, how are you? I'm fine, Uh huh. <laughs> how are you? Huh? As you can see, our king is fine. Uh, so how may we help you? I came to check on you, my king. You came to check on our king? Did anyone tell you he was sick? No, no. I... For your information, our king is going to see his wife. So if I were you, I would leave immediately. Hmm? Yay! <laughs> uh, this little girls. Well, that was harsh, mom. It was harsh. Really harsh. That's the only way to deal with people like her. Uh, <laughs> if you give them a welcoming hand, they keep coming. And that's the problem I have with you. Huh? Maybe yeah. I'm just too nice. Uh, which nice? Go, 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 go. <laughs> You are not done with the cooking yet. You may see over there. Eh? Leon Yebuchi, is there anything else you know apart from food? Why is it always food, food, food? Or give me. Is that an insult? Call it whatever you like. You can as well interpret it in any form you choose. Hmm? What is wrong with you? Why is it always food, food? I don't blame you. You are just like your friend Obiozo. Just in a different version. Bears of the same feather. He pretends and acts as if he is interested in me. But deep down in he, him, he, he does not even have an atom of love for me. Miss Oma, must you always talk back at me? Don't you know I'm your elder brother? Mama, what are you Don't talk with me. What are you going to do? Elder brother, hit me as usual. Go ahead and hit me. I am tired of you treating me like a maid in this house. Oh, Gilly, I am not your wife. I am not your maid. Leave me alone. 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 Why are you doing this, Ogwe? How can you just wake up and leave the palace with some story about a spirit tormenting you? Ogwe, I am angry. I am confused. But I have come here to speak with you. To hear you out understand why you are doing this to me what have i done to you i'm sorry okay
your king. So you now address me as your king and not your husband. The truth is that I left and abdicated my position as the queen because of the spirit that tormented me all the while I lived with you in the palace. What spirit? Oh, Kukwe, what spirit are you talking about? What spirit? I can't see any spirit. There are no spirits hovering around in the palace. What are you saying? I can't see no spirits. I can't believe I finally got married to him. Gods of our ancestors, please see me through in this marriage, for I don't know how to start being a wife to a man I do not love. You're living with a man who already started a sacred process in Nofia. Who are you? I am a Belenu of Nafia. Your destiny is somewhere else. For you are sitting on the destiny of a maiden of Nafia. And as long as you are still in this marriage, carrying the weight of a man whose destiny is tied to a maiden of Nafia, you will have no peace. You are forbidden from mentioning my name or visit to anyone. You can only do this when you have left. If you disobey me, I'll kill you and your remains must be brought back to Nafia for burial. I repeat, you can only discuss me when you are no longer in this marriage. Make the noble move and make it fast. As long as you're still in this marriage, carrying the weight of a man whose destiny is tied to a maiden of Nafia, you will have no peace. And remember, you are forbidden from mentioning my name or my visit to anyone while you're still in this marriage. Go against it and I'll kill you. Make the noble move and make it fast. What happened, my queen? Please after you. What is it? What happened? What is going on? What is it? You okay? She said nothing to us, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. You just asked her a question. My daughter. Huh? It's fine. I'll, I'll handle this. Alright, relax. Look at me, look at me. What am I going to do now? She warned me not to mention a word of it to anyone. He's becoming more curious. Should I tell him? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Your destiny is somewhere else. You are sitting on the destiny of another. You will have no peace until that maiden regains her position. Then mention me to anyone while still in this marriage. And I'll kill you mercilessly and your remains must be brought back to Nafia for burial. Make the noble move and make it fast. Ebelenu of Nafia, that's her name. She kept visiting me to the point I started losing my mind. I had no other option than to leave like she instructed. 
Are you telling me that you don't know anything about it? Is there a problem? Why are you looking at me like that? He said you are a man of an Enugu. Yes, I'm from an Enugu. Is there a problem? You will become the king of an Enugu. Well, I, I'm, 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 I'm from a family of kingmakers quite all right, but, uh, but I cannot become king. Because uh, the elders are already preparing the prince to become the next king. So the prince will not be the king of Alenugu. Proceed to Ezumo Binago. Descend from the wind of maidens. You will meet a young woman right inside the lake, offering a sacrifice. To a bear in the goddess. If you can convince her to bless you, you become the king of an Enugu. Who who are you? Are you are you a seer? I am Ajebunkita. Of Nuafia. The mechanic doing everything possible not to become a full time seer. But it comes and goes like it came now. Those that believe in me take whatever I said very serious. You will be the king of an Enugu. I am yet to know who my husband is going to be. But Ebelenu, the mighty goddess of Ezumo Binago, I pray that whosoever that is going to be my husband will be the greatest among all men. You promise that I will be happy in my marriage and that the women of the land will see me as their role model. All this you promised me. My parents are beginning to ask when I'm bringing a man to them. I don't just want to bring any man to them, but the one which you promised. All these I ask, this bright AK market day. He said. Please, don't stop praying. Please. And who are you? A man from Anenubu. I have just been informed that I stand a chance of becoming king in my land. And that the possibility of that happening lies in your prayers and blessings. Please. Pray for me and bless me. Pray for me. What do I stand to gain if I make these prayers? Yeruka, you are the most beautiful woman that I have ever seen in my entire life. Thank you, Obiezo. But that does not answer my question. If I make these prayers, and it happens as you wish, what do I stand to gain? If you permit me, Yeruka, I would want to make you my wife. Goddess, 
You had all he said and promised. I am beginning to feel that you're beginning to answer my prayers. Please, mighty goddess, answer the prayer that I just said for him and grant his heart desires. He said, I want to promise you that I'll never disappoint you. Thank you, Biazo. Iruka was the only lady that prayed for me at the river in Norfia. I cannot remember any ability. No. I don't I don't know anyone like that. So this is true. It is not what you think. What is it then? Listen. I'm here to talk to you. I am here so that you and I can sort things out. But I need you to trust me, okay? The people of Anenugu, they want answers. The elders are on my neck. Can you please come with me at least? Go back to the palace and denounce everything that you have said. And then we can sort this out. Please, I plead with you. Are you serious? You want me to go to the palace with you after the story I just heard? To do what? How can you be this insensitive and you call yourself a king? Are you actually serious that you're no longer my wife? This thing that you're saying... You... I was never your wife, Ubiozo. You used your power as the then coming king to declare me your wife, even when I made it clear that my heart belongs to another. From the moment I saw you, I loved you. You took me to your palace and raped me. No, I just wanted you. You raped me many times. I'm sorry. It's so hard to forget everything. Everything. Now that I'm in the protection of the central deity. Please, Obiozo, please don't complicate my problems. Please. Please don't leave me. Oh, I love you. You did not mention this to me all this while. Why did you hide it from me? My apologies, Mother. It wasn't intentional. It was... This is not good at all. It is not good. Not good. Look, Mom. All of that is in the past now, okay? Right now, it's about my wife. I want her back. What do I do? She has surrendered herself to the protection of the central deity of Anenugu. I cannot get her back forcefully. I'm confused. What do I do, Mom? I want my wife back. I, I want her back. I can't remain like this without her. I want her back. <laughs> Why did he hide it to me? Why didn't he mention it? Why are you tense? Eh? Aren't you tired? I am not tired, Chigi. Tell me why should I? I thought Okupe abdicated her position as the queen of this land. So why should he still go and meet her? God, as if that was not even enough. You needed to have seen the way the mom dismissed me. I felt so embarrassed. <laughs> Hi. And what's funny with what I just said? <laughs> I thought you said the king belongs to you. 
ahead and have him now. And what does that mean? <laughs> Are you kind of mocking me? Oh, 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 yeah, wait, she's okay. Yes, my dear. It's okay. Uh, Forget about the king. A better man will come for you. Mm. Eh? It's okay. Really? Yes, it's okay. All right. Thank you very much. And as for you, you want to become queen. <coughs> Look at your queen. <laughs> See your queen, her royal majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is absolutely strange. You never told me. Well, I didn't think it was necessary. But I've, I've just told you. I didn't make anything out of that promise, actually. You know. Are you serious? A promise that was made under such a spiritually charged atmosphere is what you dismiss as nothing? Dad. Hey. Yes. Um... You, I need you to go to my in-law, Zobie Funa. Tell him that I want to see him immediately. Okay, Majesty. Your Majesty, why are you summoning the man? Um, he has to come here and tell us what to do. I want my wife back, all right? And that is what I have to do. You, someone or the others, tell them that I need to see them immediately. <laughs> I heard all that happened. To cut it short. That's the reason I had to come back to Aninubo. I've missed you. Please sit down. We have a lot of catching up to do. I don't even know how to start. <laughs> I told you that this case isn't an ordinary. But trust me, the gods are not sleeping. Man, you don't understand. You don't. I was once the mother to the queen of this great kingdom, but not any longer. Is that actually your main concern? Oh, oh, Kukwe is possessed, so. But that same spirit that she's claiming that drove her away from the palace. Eh? Shut up and mind what you allow into your greedy thoughts. Ugoma, are you out of your senses? Oh, Kukwe. Oh, Kukwe. Oh, Kukwe, have you seen what you've cost me? Greetings. Uh, 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 greetings, my son. I guess I have a message from the throne. Yes, Zobefuna. The king demands to see you now. Uh, all, all right, we shall go together. Do you know why he's calling him? Ugoma. He's only a messenger. I will be right back. <laughs> Let's go. Zobie Fona. What I do not understand is why you have blatantly refused 
do anything about the matter at hand. Listen, if I were you, I would tell my daughter to denounce all that she has said and go back to her husband. She is a married woman. That is the right thing to do. Then the gods are not here. This man here is a true son of an enemy. And I am certain that no matter the intimidation and temptation from well positioned men, that he is not going to undermine the sanctity of our cultural heritage in this kingdom and play to gallery. Did I ask you to interfere? Hmm? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, if you believe I'm interfering, but I'm making a point. I don't understand. Why should we summon a, a titled man, stand him here, and we're questioning him like this? Let us even assume that we have forgotten everything. Did we equally forget that this man is an insane here in Anenugu? Did we? Bridle your tongue, Ichi, and keep quiet. Ichi, I am talking. Um, Your Majesty, uh, please do not be offended. Remember, we have not heard from Zobiefna yet. Come here now, please. Don't mind Ichi Ewan Asanya, who finds it difficult to respect considered authority. <clears throat> Is that what you think? Yes. Zobiefra. Your Majesty. The others are seated. They want to hear you. Hmm? What do you have to say for yourself? Apologies for the inconveniences, Your Majesty. Actually, Your Majesty, there is nothing I can do about this. There is nothing you can do? Yes, Your Majesty. Just like you, you know our custom and tradition, my daughter has already submitted to the protection of this Stop of the central deity of an end. This is totally beyond my mind. Can you hear the voices of the gods? Watching us, seeing what we're doing. As speechless as you are in the chamber, uh, but we all know that any woman who has been married to the king can no longer be married to any other man in fear to the king. No, no, no. Oh, oh yes, it's oh, a no. fact. Oh no, you are right. But I still wonder what your best plan could be. Huh? Would it be she wants to remain single for the rest of her life, or what? Because, uh, let me just ask something. It doesn't cancel. Are we still mentally sound? Is this not supposed to be an insult? How is that an insult? No, should I be the one reminding us that the gods have their way of doing things? No, should I be telling us that? Hmm. Opukwe did not receive the sword of the queens from all the previous queens that ruled in this kingdom. In fact, the very last queen that died did not define her fate. We all know this. Ezo is the cause of his misfortune. We need to rise up like men that sit in council. Go back in there and tell him that to his face. Why are we not doing that? Okwana Sanya, Obunne, Monare Bubo, Maria Reke no Kweze, Kemu Mani Shijele, Mbobna. Oh, 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 you are too blunt for an idea. Eh? Yeah. 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 
<laughs> that may be my problem, but I like to see things exactly the way they are. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you made this for me. Yes, my love, I did. Atin, how come? <laughs> when did you learn how to cook? Because the last time I checked, you were a chemist that eats more of noodles. Yes, you're right. You're right. Before now, I couldn't cook a thing, but I learned how to cook in my mother's place. And also, I learned a lot of things that I couldn't learn in an Enugu. Wonderful. <laughs> and also, I brought you this. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I know you have a lot of them. And also, you need a lot of them. You have not answered my question. Why are you doing this, Atwin? I am doing it because I care. Please, my love, take them. Please, please, don't call me that. Please. Apologies. Thank you. May the gods reward you. You say... So can you eat your food before it gets cold? Of course I will. <laughs> Let me just drop this then get water. Thank you. My king, are you not going to ask me why I am upset? Why are you upset? Your guard just got on my nerves. He was doing his job. He's lucky I'm not a queen yet. Would have dealt with him. Why are you saying something? <sighs> My king, I've been meaning to ask you. Why is it taking you forever to understand that I am the right woman for you? Can you speak in clearer terms? What do you mean? What I mean is, I have all the queenly attributes you need in a queen. Apart from making you the happiest man on earth, I am so sure to give you all the good counsels you might be needing in any of the challenges that may surface in your reign as king. So you see, Listen, I understand. You may think that I will turn you down, but I am telling you here and now that if only you say the word, I'll be yours forever. Is that so? Yes, that is so. It is public knowledge that you are a maiden who is always angry. What is the reason for this current anger? Hmm? Is he not your friend? Which of my friends? Who else? 
or Bielsa, the so-called king. And what about him? I don't know if he's blind. I think he's blind or something. It is the revered king of Anenugu that you're talking about. Who cares if he's a king or not? He can be the president of this country for all I care. I do not care. I don't understand. Why would he twat all my efforts of making him see how, how attractive I am? No, that? What does he even think he is? What does he think he is? You know what? I just found out today that that man, Obiozo, is not my match. He's not even my kind of man. So I here and now give up. I do not want him again. He can go ahead and marry any useless maiden out there. <laughs> Mr. What did he just say? Are you sure about what he just said? So you finally give up. <laughs> You finally give up. <laughs> Hi. With your disrespectful attitude, which reasonable man will want to marry you? You just stab him to death. You keep bringing food for me every day. Yes, because I always want you to eat and be happy. Thank you. What is it? Why are you not married yet? Irrespective of the fact that I married another. You never care to ask all this why not until I return. It's not late to get an answer, is it? Not at all. To be honest with you, I stayed on married because I knew that someday you would come back to me. How do you mean? I had a revelation from the goddess of healing when you originally got married and she told me that you are my wife. So I had to wait because I know that the goddess of healing would never lie to me. Hmm. I tell you, I don't know what you're saying, but. You and I know that any woman that was married to a king cannot marry another man that is inferior to a king. She can marry another king, yes, but not anyone under the king. In fact, it's punishable by death for an ex-queen to marry any man inferior to the king. You're right. I'm aware. But I once had a dream where we were joined in marriage and a king blessed the marriage. Well, Atui, I'm not leaving this place to avoid the lots of the king. I don't know how long you intend staying in this place, but I want to let you know that I'll keep visiting you and I'll keep bringing you food as usual. Hmm? So, why don't you go ahead and eat your food? Is this not an opportunity to win the king? I have to tell him what I've just seen. You're enjoying the food, right? Ah! <laughs> Thank you. In your mouth. Come in, in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I find this fish very well. Oh, you find it for me, not for you. No, it's for you now. <laughs> I might be like that. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Oh, it's quite big. Mm. Oh, it's quite big. Let me give you one. Let me give you one. It's for you. I'm not dragging it. It's for you. What did you say? Your Majesty, I swear on the staff of the king that I did not just see them, but I saw love in their eyes. You saw what? My own Kukui? Yes, Your Majesty. You saw what? Huh? No. It is not possible. Muzai! My king! Find me that boy that they call out to him. Find him for me, Mbuse. And when you find him, do it. Now we should be granted that night. And we do just that. Go, Mbuse. Mama, these people are asking for trouble, ma'am. They want to see the stuff that I am made of, but I will show them. I will show them who I am. Hey! <laughs> I'll train you. <laughs> ah. I will come for you. Trust me, you won't see me coming. I want to be left alone, mom. If you don't mind, could you please just excuse me? Thank you. <laughs> yes, I shouldn't worry about that. All I know is definitely he will lose interest in her and then make me his wife. I'm the winner. Onye nye chi. You are the winner. That class will forever remain in your mouth. In the Mama. That lie will ever remain in your mouth. Did you hear me? Arona yege watakrea. Mama, you are very useless to call me that name. After my warning against King and his wife, you still think and see the king. Mama, it's not that's not what you think. Shut up! Any more words from you, Onyechi? You will regret being my daughter. Now let me warn you for the very last time, Onyechi. You, if you ever mention that name in this house again, Onyechi. You will regret having me as your mother. You know young boy, Kita. Come no quagi again. Oh, that was it, too, oh. Uja. <laughs> well, thank the gods. <laughs> that reminds me. What? The king. What about him? I never believed it when you said you were no longer impressed. Oh, you thought I was joking? Yes. Ah. Well, he's all right. I'm glad you've now confirmed that I wasn't joking. Eh? Eh? You see, there are some circumstances surrounding the king. And uh, like I told you before, I wouldn't want to end up in such a place. Eh? Neither would I want to be tormented by some spirit. Eh? I don't understand you. But does he mean you never loved him? My main priority was to be queen. Eh. But I would have started loving him if he had married me though. I can't believe this. So, before you start loving him, you will actually allow a man to grace the woman in you? Eh. That has passed already. Tell me about you. <laughs> what about it? Is it that you never wanted to be point. Esso, tell me, eh? Mom, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about the way I spoke to you earlier today. I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm not really done. 
and when we see him. I totally understand. Has he been unforgiving? <laughs> okay, if that is what you want to hear. All I want is for everything to be well, for things to be fine around here. All oh, will be well again. The gods are not sleeping. Oh, by the way, son, what about the young woman of Norfia you promised marriage? And a um, Belenu of the same place. That tormented Ukukwe while she was here with us. You've not told me anything about them so far. Whatever is so Who are you and what are you doing in my compound? I asked again, woman, who are you? Stay away from what is deeper than you. What's that supposed to mean? What nonsense are you talking about? Do you know the man you just entered his compound? What is it in this kingdom do you consider deeper than me? A man who is already blessed by the goddess of healing cannot be cute for diligently working after her gift to him. That woman belongs to him. Even after her blunder of rejection, he waited. Make any attempt of killing him, and I will ensure you die the most miserable death in the history of an Inugu. If you feel you're a man, use your gun. Shoot me as I'm leaving. Your Majesty. Based on what happened last night, I'm suggesting you leave the woman who already abandoned you to be with the one she loves. What are you talking about? This is a woman that I have slept with. I've had carnal knowledge of her once, not twice, several times. No other man in an Inuba is qualified to be with her. You cannot say that. <laughs> with due respect, Your Majesty, I think you did not hear me clearly. When I told you about a woman who came to me, she was emphatic. She told me I would die the most miserable death in the history of Anenu if I ever try to kill Atwenyi. She also told me the Earth Queen belongs to him, Your Highness. A woman appeared. Who? Who is this woman? What does she look like? Your Majesty. From the things I observed, she was the same woman who tormented her ex queen when she was living here in this palace with you. That woman was not a spirit. She was pure and commanding. I'm sure I came face to face with the goddess. Yes, Your Majesty. The goddess from where? And the prince in all land. I greet you. Atwini, how are you? I'm fine, Ezemo. I can see you brought food for Kukwe, as usual. Yes, Ezemo. I know something special is attached to this, but I can't explain for now. Mm, anyway, it's all right. She's inside. Thank you, Zaman. The beautiful woman that he 
goddess of the healing gave to me as my wife. Hatun. I will love you and I'll always love you forever. Hatun, you're already here with food. Yes. Queen must be served something very early. You are my queen. And forever you will be. So please arrange yourself to eat something. Even before you brush them out. <laughs> it looks delicious. Smells nice too. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up very early this morning to prepare that special one. Thank you. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. And guess what? What? I saw you in my dream last night. Mm. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Okay. Tell me more about it. I... <laughs> we are just going down a lake. Okay. Clean, holding each other. It was so... It was, it was so real. Yes. It's real, my love. And it's already happening, just like I told you. The goddess of healing would never lie to me. I'm already a great man. From, for people from all walks of life, depending on my medicine to survive. Yes. And for your information, I've already completed my house. Mm -hmm. And just in three days back, I ordered a brand new car. But I will be greater if you will be my wife. I am happy for you. Thank you for coming back. Thank you, my love. Now, go ahead and eat your food. My special okwa, you mean? Yes. You learned to it. Why are you behaving as if it is nothing? She left the palace and abdicated her position as the queen of this land just to be with that useless fool called Atweni. Atweni. The chemist that turned greatest abalis of this land. A man who has come face to face with the goddess of Helen is not a useless man. Ugoma, you have to be very careful with your utterances. He was scheduled to marry Okukwe. Before Obiozo, let me also remind you that she did not leave the throne or abdicate her position as the queen because of her twin. She did because a force mightier than her threatened her life. So stop castigating my daughter. Eh? You will force me to lose it one day. Ugoma! Ugoma! What am I going to do? How am I going to send this girl back to the palace to continue as the queen? Talk to me, my king. What, what is troubling you this time? I'm losing my mind, mother. God forbid. Uh -huh. May the gods forbid. That will never happen. It just might happen, mother, if nothing changes around here. Mom. Why would you leave me? Huh? What did I ever do to her? I mean, look at it. It takes one month, what, just a couple of weeks for every queen in Anenugu to get pregnant. She didn't get pregnant. But I kept loving her. I kept being her husband, treating her right. What did I not do for her while she was here? Not for once, mom, did I consider the option of getting another wife in spite of the fact that she couldn't give me a child. No. So why would she be the one to wake up one day and leave me? Why? Son, you know, that was why I said you should make inquiries. 
about the woman that was tormenting her. <laughs> and the one you promised a marriage in North. Yeah? I believe so much that when everything is sorted out, it will be fine again. Mom, nothing happened in North. Yeah? I didn't... Nothing. Nothing happened. I, I, I can't remember anything. But even if anything happened, all that happened when I was just an ordinary person, now that I have been crowned king, whatever it is that I must have said becomes null and void. It becomes invalid, mom. That is not the issue. The issue is that I am a married man now, a man who loves and misses his wife. Where is Okukwe? Where is she? If everything became invalid when you were crowned king, why was the goddess still disturbing her? Oh, mom, who could make that rubbish up just so that she can run back to that chemist? Oh, yes. Uh, you, 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 you couldn't see through her? <laughs> Okukwe and that chemist, it will not happen. Not as long as I sit on this throne, mom, it will not happen. I'm hungry. I, I, I'm just generally uncomfortable, Mom. If, if I can find food to eat, I would appreciate it. Okay. I'll be right back. Which is your majesty? Stop it. What do you want? I thought it could be bought me, your majesty. So I decided to come. If I am bored, I will call people here to sit with me and have me entertained. What do you want? For your majesty. I am fine. What do you want? Do you think I should leave? Yes. Leave. Are you sure about what you just said? Or maybe I didn't hear you clearly. Oyebuchi, you heard me well. <laughs> this is good news. So you mean that very soon you will step out of this compound to become the wife of a bag and people? Hey! Oyebuchi! Eh? Don't play smart with me. Uh -uh. You are just happy that I'm going to be leaving this compound, okay? That is where you are happy. That is the only reason you are happy uh, for me. Mama, don't misunderstand me. Eh? I'm only happy that finally you have truly given up on the king. And that you have... Totijo Goyebube of Abakana. That's why I'm happy. Eh? Should I say this? Eh? I think I was being greedy the whole time. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad. I'm glad I finally saw that. I didn't even need him. I didn't need your girl, but he wasn't my kind of man. He's not the kind of man I want to be with as a husband. He's too complicated. He seems like he's not sure of himself. I want a real man. Hey. A man I can say he's sure of himself. Ooh. Yes. Miss Oma, mm -hmm. I am happy that for the very first time, you're beginning to reason properly. Well, all I have to say is that you must try as much as possible to be a good companion to Tijoke. Eh? And not that disrespectful one you've been to me. Endeavor to give him food. I do say that one. Food. Every man likes food. Every man likes food. Oh. Hey. With all due respect, Ezemo, I don't think it's a good idea. My daughter, I understand your fear. But I'm assuring you that Ezra Biozo will not make the mistake of harming you. For he is already away that you're under the protection of the central deity of Anenugu. So, 
to continue staying here is not a good idea, my daughter. So you have to return to your father's home. But I'm still assuring you that no harm will be for you. But I still love him. And I used to love him. Don't you get it? She's over. I suggest you forget about the king. Just like I told you did. The good man will come for you. All the glitters are not good, remember? Exactly. Chizuba, we used to be best of friends. But this whole issue of wanting to be a queen has brought space between us. And sincerely speaking, I don't like it. The king is still in love with Okukwe. And Okukwe told the people that a woman tormented her life while she lived in the palace as a queen. Don't you get it, my dear friend? This won't just work. I appreciate your kind gestures towards me. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. But something in Misty tells me that he's going to come around. I'm not going to give up. Bro. I'm not giving up. I will wait for him. You mean the priest gave you that assurance? Yes, he did. That means you've been moving out of this place as soon as possible. Today, precisely. Good. Good news. <laughs> what is it, my love? My mother. Your mother? Yes. You know, she's not in support of what I did. She thinks that I left the king because I never loved him and because of you. My love, see, do not allow that to bother you. Okay? For the gods and the goddess of healing who take care of everything. Okay? Okay. Gerald. Gerald. My king, are you okay? My king, I'm talking to you. Please answer me. Are you okay? Yeah, Onyechi. What are you doing here? Greetings, Mama. Keep your greetings. You want? Mama, we came to. To do what? You only came here to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> what is wrong with you, maidens? You're so desperate that you don't even know when to stop. Please, well, listen. The king wants to be left alone. Please, I said you should go. That's the meaning. He wants to be left alone. Go. <laughs> Can you imagine? Her mother broke up our friendship just because I told her that you are not interested in her daughter. Now she has come here to make a fool of herself. Ew. <laughs> now, I, my king, my king, I guess I have to let you be too. How did you know I'm here? I am the king. Ogwe. I know everything. What have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? Doing what? What is it that you find in that chemist that you, that you don't see in me? I love you. You're my world. You're my everything. Uh -huh. My king, I didn't leave the palace because I wanted to. Neither was it because of Atuin. I left because I had numerous encounters with a strange woman. I told you about it. I just confirmed that that strange woman is a goddess from North Lake. You desperately want me back to your palace so you can continue to rape me. No. And not solve the problem that is big enough to consume you. I'm sorry to say this, Ubiazo, but 
you have finally turned out to be such a terrible king. Okay, you know that what you have just said is not right, but then you're the only one who can speak to me in that manner. And I won't get angry because of what I feel for you. I haven't come here to fight you, Okoko. Neither have I come here for exchange of words. I have come here so that you and I can, can find a way out of this, so that you can come back to the palace. Please. I'm sorry, my king, but... I can't really tell, my king, but I suggest you ask questions. Or better still, find the Iruka that you once got married to on the bank of Mafia Lake. I never married another woman. You are the only woman that I have married. And I've loved deeply all my life. Can you not see that I want you back? Please, Okukwe. I'm sorry, but like the strange woman said, my destiny is tied to another. What does that mean? Atoye and I will be getting married. We are making plans already. We don't do this. Don't you, you, you can't do this. Calm down, Your Majesty. When you allow me, do not tell me to calm down. Buse? When the anus itches, it calls for attention. How can I be of help? Go find me that bastard and tell him that I request his presence before me. I see that you're not afraid of me. Atwin. I am convinced that greater is the spirit that gives life than the one that takes life. I move with the goddess of healing and she will never allow the spirit that takes life come near me. Quite poetic. Huh? <laughs> uh, you two should leave us alone. I'd like to have a conversation with this one. You can leave. You can go, Onyebuchi. Atwey. My seat is quite comfortable. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. So I take it that you are willing to contest a woman with your king, Atwingi. <laughs> Come on now. This doesn't make sense at all. Huh? This is a woman that I married, remember? <laughs> I already married her. She lost her virginity to me, Atwini. What are we talking about? I am not bothered. <laughs> You're not? Yes, I am not bothered. You took her without her consent. But I will leave that to the gods to handle. The goddess of healing gave her to me in assurance. Though I am a great healer, but I'll be greater with her as my wife. Believe the goddess of healing rules and counsel the the abomination we are committing with her. The benevolent goddess wants to finish what she started. Or are you going to be the one to stop the gods? Young man, you are beginning to provoke me. You broke my hand and collected my woman just because you were named the coming king. You defied her for six months. For she never wanted you as husband. (sighs) 
I forgive you. I forgive you. For she has finally come back to me. But please, do not come for her again. Neither me. Go and find another woman. And you will find peace. I see you have a lot of gods at me. But I have also noticed that you have forgotten our culture and tradition. So I'll just bring you up to speed. A woman who's been married to a king can never turn around and marry a commoner. It has never happened in Igbo land. It has never happened in Aninu. And it is not going to happen. Not now. Not in my time. Get up and get out of my palace now. Out. Out. Can you hear the voices of the gods? Watching us. Seeing what we're doing. I don't want to talk about it. Greetings, Mama. Oh, yes. Mama, after my warnings not to visit the king, you still went ahead to visit the king. Mama, what did I do? Yeah, what did I do, Mama? Why are you accusing me falsely? So, I'm a liar. I saw my mom on my way coming back home. She asked me to warn you to stay away from her son. You needn't have seen the embarrassment. Why are you so classless? Oh, you still have the mouth, mouth to talk. Okay? Not ever. Is there a way somebody can explain this nonsense to me? A king without a queen. I don't understand. Why are we playing politics with something as gigantic as the office of the queen of our Nenubu kingdom? Hmm. If the departed Umuada and Umuobu of our Nenubu will rise against us, can we stand them? All of us. Can we stand them? Um, you are right. A king needs a queen. Oh. But you are inescapably aware that the king is doing something about that. What has he been doing? What is he doing if not doing everything humanly possible to bring back his ex-wife who already abdicated the position of a queen? She ran away. Why? Why can't we look a goat in the face and call him a goat? No, why are we looking at a goat and we are not, we are not calling him a goat? Why are we calling a goat a different name? Or does it mean that I am unfortunately part of a council that is afraid of ordinary goat? Ah. Uh -huh. mm. Is it our king that you are indirectly calling him a, a goat? Why are you asking? His proverb is clear and unambiguous. Ichiokwanasanya is referring to our king as a goat. Well, listen. And to me. Excellent. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I've already made my point. He has to get a wife who is going to become the queen of an enemy. Or he will abdicate that position as the king. He will leave the throne. In fact, he will leave that palace. That palace is the property of the kingdom. He hasn't come to that. Um, I have not seen the king done anything wrong here. Yes. Let's give him more time. Really? Yes. Yes. Uh, um, uh, yes. You know, most times when I bring out my Ikenga in the morning 
to pray. I will keep asking him. Can you explain why you will make me a co-member in council with men that have no balls? Yeah? And, and, you know, do you, all of you, I will meet you at the other side. Oh, it's just being very yeah. uncommon. Yeah. It's just being very uncommon. But what, what, what does he mean by that? That he will meet us at the other side. Uh, it means nothing. Eh? Let's stop according him special respect. Eh? He's a masquerade. And all of us are equally masquerade yes. in an Enugu. Oh, no, let me tell you. Let's all tell him that whatever he thinks he knows, we equally know it more than himself. Uh -huh. He cannot do anything. Ichiyoku Anasanya is just being very anachronous. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Anachronous and ignorant. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why is he being very conservative? Nyabe uh Kwarakono, -huh. I will say the way. Oh no, Ukita Akedia. Kwarakono, I will say the way. Oh no, Ukita Akedia. And the wind and the thunder, the sign in the sky is so dark. Why the hell did I king? Greetings, my king. Why have you stopped the royal vehicle? Your Majesty, in an Ainugu, Nwada always gets whatever she wants. See how your time you stop thinking about the people and look at me for once. Be sincere with your judgment. So, for quite anything, you know. Is this why you stopped me? Hmm? My. Move this. The sign in the sky is so dark. Obuefi. My king. At when you the chemist came to the palace to mock me. He told me that the goddess of healing, who happens to be on his side, intentionally disrupted my marriage with Okukwe to complete, I don't understand it. But most importantly, Obuefi, I felt scandalized and insulted by that statement. And that is why I have come to you, Obuefi, to confirm from you if the goddess of healing has any kind of connection with Ebelenu of Norfia, the one who supposedly tormented my wife while she lived with me in the palace. I I'm quite shocked and surprised that you're staring at me in that manner. I have come here to seek answers. My king, I am just surprised you are inquiring from me from, for the very first time concerning this issue. And that is because things are no longer at ease. That is because I want answers. Although I asked Mbuze, who is my personal seer, to to see for me, uh, he tried, but um, all to no avail. And that is why I have come to you, Obwefi, to seek answers. My king, listen. Ebelenu of Novia is the goddess of Novia Lake that Iruka was praying to when you came and asked her to pray for you. I believe you still remember that. 
Ajay Wunkita, the mechanic of Novia, who ministered to you freely, will be very disappointed in a man like you. A better made you king. Simply because you promised to marry Iroka, the maiden of Novia. Mm. But what did you do at last? You disappointed. You failed. And that is why they came back to torment your life. Men who are really men stick to their words. Hi. Oh, I am. Um... <laughs> you see, I promised you a marriage out of exuberance, you know. Um, but as time went on and I was about to become king, you know, it dawned on me that it's only proper and fitting that I pick a maiden from an. for a wife. Huh? As opposed to picking someone outside. Of our land. My king, you can marry from anywhere. As long as your spirit and your strength match with the woman in question. You see, people mm -hmm. are having problems in marriage simply because they marry people whom their spirit do not match with. And that was your problem with Okwe. Okwe was never your wife. It is simple. You have to travel to Novia and find the maiden. I find the maiden and what next? Get married to her, of course. What then happens to Okukwe? Then she can marry Atwini who I believe is a destined husband. Mm -hmm. Mommy must really think it's easy, huh? I love that girl. As far as I'm concerned, Okupe is the sweetest woman that I have ever been with. It will be very difficult to let her go. I love her with all of my heart. The reality is that I cannot see myself with another. But sir, you're left with no option. Hmm. You have to let go. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> oh, you two open and sign your greetings. Excuse me. Oh. As of yourself, I have come to ask you to pick a wife urgently one that we can name the queen of this kingdom or you abdicate the throne of our fathers <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's you Kwana, Swaya. I like your gods I must tell you you walk in here, you look me in the face and tell me that I, the Igwe of Anenugu, will abdicate his throne if I do not find a wife within your timeline. <laughs> you have gods. Well, I need to remind you, Ezubioza, that it is not your throne. It is the throne of the people of Anenugu. So. And, and let me remind you that in our history, we never had a king who ruled, who reigned without a queen. Are you not going to be the one that will destroy our history? <laughs> you will not say that I didn't want you. Urgently pick a wife that will take the position of the queen of an enemy, or you abdicate your position as the king, the same way your wife, your ex-wife, abdicated her position <laughs> as the queen. No way. I would 
never listen to them and let her go. No, I can't. She was the sweetest even when I took her against her will. You can imagine how sweet she would be when she finally gives it up. Willingly. I love her. I would never lose her to anyone else. Mbuse! Mbuse! Your Majesty, Ichi Okwana Sonya is right. You are on the verge of losing this throne. What have I done? Do I not have a wife? You know I have a wife. Yes, I have a wife. Okukwe is my wife. I have a wife. Why are you still talking about a woman who belongs to another man? Why? I warned you from the outset, but you wouldn't listen. This throne is important to you. And to me too. You must not lose it. Go to Norfia in search of that maiden you promised to marry. Or better still, get married to a maiden of Anenugu. I would have suggested that you marry my sister, Ms. Oma, but she's now married to a man of Abagana. Go to Nofia and solve this in pass. You must not lose this throne. And you cannot fight the gods. Neither can you fight the goddesses. Um, mm -hmm. I have seen the color not you, bro, but that was not what brought me here. I am here because I heard about the press conference where you submitted that it is odd and crazy on the line for a king of an Enugu to be living in a palace without a wife. And do you have a problem with the press conference? Or have you come here to preach to me, Mr. Cactus? No, let me understand something. Are you here on your own or were you sent by anyone? No, no, no. Ichi, I was not sent by anybody. I came here to approach you because I am bothered. Bothered about what? You see, many people are now saying that you are now inciting people against the king. And that is not good. It is not good at all. Uh, really? Okay, let me ask you. What do you think yourself? No, am I really inciting the people against the king? Let me tell you something, Mr. Cactus. You see that palace where they live? That place is not his house. The facility is not his. That place is the property of the kingdom. And both of them, the king and the queen have defined responsibilities in the administration of justice in this kingdom. Now, the king is living without a queen. That automatically means that the office of the queen is vacant again. And you think a man like me will keep quiet because of what the people are saying? Really? You see, my problem is that that young man may come after you. Let that be my headache. Of course. No, let him go ahead and come after me if he believes that he has the balls. Listen, I called that press conference and I was very specific in what I said. If you are close to him, you may go back and tell him. He has to pick a wife urgently so that the office of the queen will become relevant again. If he fails to do this as soon as possible, then I am going to force him to abdicate not just the throne, but even that palace. He will come out of that place so that another king will emerge. If work a money, will he Never ganya. You got to go as the only will he care. Hey, Ichi. As funny as it sounds, and as serious as you are, let me ask you, man to man. Yeah, yeah. Do you really think that you can single-handedly dethrone a sitting king? Ichi, that man might send assassins after you. Uh, let him go ahead. No, if he believes he can send assassins after a man like me, let him go ahead and brief the assassins. And let us see who is going to drop dead in this land. Let me tell you something, Mr. Cactus, then. 
You go back to your house and continue the job you are doing as the cactus of this kingdom. I don't want to disturb you. So don't disturb us in the politics of the land. I call the press conference and what I said is very emphatic. If he fails to pick a wife so that the office of the queen will become relevant again, then exactly what I said in that press conference is what is going to happen. Are you going to bet me on this? Ah, Jose. Your Majesty. <laughs> you have done well. Eh? I like her. She is beautiful. Eh? I'm glad you like her, Your Majesty. I do. Awali uh, <laughs> Tell me your name. Wamaka, Your Majesty. Wamaka. Ha ha. Ah. Imakwan, eh? You're beautiful. Uh, Mbuze? Your Majesty. Uh, you would have to excuse me. Let me have a moment with this beautiful woman standing right in front of me. Uh, <laughs> Please sit. Forgive my manners, eh? Once again, you're welcome to my kingdom. Eh? I will tell you this, eh? the fact that I am naturally attracted to dark-skinned women is not the reason you're here. You are here because my spirit accepts you. From the moment I saw you, something in me agreed with you. You know, something in my spirit, you know. And that is how I feel about you. I am confused, Your Majesty. Ah. I don't understand. You are confused. <laughs> it's fine. I will clear your confusion. Uh, have you looked at yourself lately? You're beautiful, warm, nice, and wonderful. You come across as nice and alluring. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? I'll take that as a compliment to your majesty. Thank you. <clears throat> I asked my God um, to find me a woman. <laughs> the reason is simple but a bit complicated. But I'll tell you this. I want a wife, a woman who will be the queen of Anenu. Would you, my dear, like to be a queen? It will be great, Your Majesty. <laughs> I see you're all flustered. Don't worry. I know it's a bit strange. You'll get used to it. Relax. We're peaceful people here. Hmm? I would like to make you my wife. Wamaka. Wow. I'm blushing. <laughs> Mom, you should have seen this girl. Nice looking, dark skinned, beautiful. Mm. You know, I, I, I saw her the moment I laid eyes on her. I knew that she could, you know, she could take a Kukwe's place in my life. She, she, she can make me happy, you know. Really? Yes, Mom. How long have you known this Mwamaka? I saw her today, you know, for the first time. <laughs> Buse found her for me. Who are her parents? Uh, we got talking and she told me that the mom unfortunately passed a few years ago. But oh. her father is very much alive. His name is Mazi Tabu. Have you heard of him? Mazi Tabu. Mazi Tabu. Mazi Tabu. I don't think I know him. Oh, well, our community in Enugu is quite um, big. <laughs> we, you can't know everyone. But I'll get her to come see you in a few days. Um, I'm positive she would make you happy, just like she already makes me happy. Yeah. And everyone lives in peace and we put an end to all of this fiasco. And just, you know, for once, live in peace. Well, I don't for me, don't for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I sing gay love and we're on time. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Sinzer. Uh, greetings, Greetings. 
Greetings, Mama, I greet you. <laughs> Mama, for how long do you wish to bear grudges against me? Mama, remember that all that happened was never my fault. I'm still your daughter. And I'm still alive. Please, Mama. Please, I beg you. Forgive her. Please. Oh, it's alright. Stand up. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Arthur, how are you? Mom, I'm fine. And I want to thank you for your understanding. It's all right, my son. Eh? Let's leave the both of you while we go in and check. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> thank you, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear me right? Is the obvious demands to see you this moment? I am not coming. Is that not clear enough? Are you sure you are on right senses? Gods of my ancestors, I thank you so much for this miracle. Who am I to be the next queen of this land? Oh, I can't believe this. I hope I am not dreaming. I hope this is not a dream. I just can't wait to share this good news with Papa. You don't just do things simply because you want to do them. Who, who are you please? Don't you ever go to the palace again. It is a warning. Disobey me and you'll be killed. I am sorry, Mbuzay. I don't want to see him. Is that difficult to understand? My life is still dear to me. I'm as confused as you are, Your Majesty. It was like she woke up on the wrong side of the bed. She just refused to come. Just like that? Did, did she tell you anything at all? Did she give you a reason, even, even if it's just one reason? I'm short of words. That is strange. <laughs> are you sure she did? She, sh I mean, she must have said something to you, Mbuzi. No, she didn't. She only said she doesn't want to come with me. <laughs> this is really strange. I mean, just the other day, all that young lady wanted to do was just be with me and be around me. She was really excited. She was happy, you know, to be associated with me. Suddenly, she doesn't want to see me. Ah, <laughs> something is wrong, Jose. I'm sure something is wrong. Wamak, I was told that you declined my invitation to the palace. What is the problem? There is no problem, Your Majesty. There is a problem. Because you clearly refused to show up at the palace. Remember I told you that today I would introduce you to my mother. But I couldn't even tell her that you have refused to show up because that would be very embarrassing. I'm sure you understand. I am sorry, Mike. Well, Maka, you and I had an agreement. We had an understanding. I told you that I'll be replacing my ex-wife with you. Oh. I am sorry, my king. But I am no longer interested. Why? It's a private decision I made as a young woman of this land, and I want it to be respected. What did you just say? 
Yes, please come again. I said I'm no longer interested in the king. <laughs> Same here. You see, I've finally come to terms with you guys. He's too complicated. And it's very obvious he doesn't love me. Same with his mom. So I just want to be her. So I can have peace of mind. Wow. I am so happy to hear this. Oh, um, listen, she's over. Not that I'm being an enemy of progress there. It's just that I don't want to watch you going for something that is never meant for you. A good man would definitely come for us. Yes. And all this would be a story. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, definitely. Can we please be friends the way we used to? Why not? Come here. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't just be left out. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy now. You have just three days to get a wife or abdicate the throne. So listen to what your mother is telling you. Go to Norfia. Find that maiden you promised to marry. It will not take anything from you. Don't tell me you are still thinking about Okukwe. Well, if you must know, Okukwe is now married to a twin. And from what I heard, she's even pregnant. That shows she is not for you. She's what? Pregnant. All the while she was living with you, she never took him. This shows that both of you were not meant for each other. So please, travel to Norfia. Find that maiden. Bring her home. And everything will be fine. Am I not the happiest man on earth? Huh? <laughs> and am I not the happiest woman on earth as well? You know what? The day you're going to give birth to this child, I am going to get you whatever you name. Whatever. Mm. Yeah. So you're not getting anything from me till then? Uh, no, I didn't mean that. You know, I can always get anything you want for you. Yeah? But that this one will be very special. Very, very special. Mm. Yes. Baby, you heard it. <laughs> Come out. At when I understand your surprise and confusion seeing me here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Greetings. Majesty. Greetings. But I assure you, I come in peace. Uh, Okukwe, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. I am here because I hear that you're pregnant. Uh, is it true? Yes, Your Majesty. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's a good thing. Eh? It's a good thing. Uh, you know that for six months you lived with me as my wife, and not for once did you get pregnant. <laughs> and then you got back to this man here. He touched you. Alas, we have something to celebrate. Eh? <laughs> At Remy. Your Majesty. Hold your wife. We cannot pretend. If the eyes can see, if the ears can hear. By the power vested in me as the king of Anenu, I hereby bless this marriage. May He's, no harm befall you. He say. May you find peace in this union. He say. You shall bring forth children. I shall grow to live responsibly and represent our people properly. He say. Look, I won't walk him one way. 
<laughs> you see? The both of you shall leave to reap the fruits of your labor. You see? I wish you long life, prosperity, and good health. You see? I pray peace upon your household. You see? Atwini. Your Majesty. It was a bomb matter. Congratulations. Thank you. Majesty. Thank you very much. I shall take my leave. May the gods bless you. Bless you too. Just like in my dreams, the king blessed my marriage. It just happened. My love, did it just happen? Yes, it just happened. <laughs> What is delaying you from marrying that maiden? Do not worry yourself, Father. I do my things my own way. You should know that. Son, you need not to tell a wise man to leave the sun. You have to make a while the sun shines. She's a beautiful maiden. And if you don't take time, someone else might take her away from you. Impossible. That's impossible. It can never happen. Yuruka is mine and mine alone. If any man dares to interfere, he should be ready to lose his life. Yes. Even at that, son, you still need to pay a bride price and bring her to this palace. All right, Father, I've, I've, I've heard you. I will surely see to that. Very well, son. Um, Father, is that all you want to discuss with me? Yes, it is. Because it is very important. All right, Father, I, I promise I will do something about it. It's a promise. That's okay, sir. Thank you, Father. My friend. Mm -hmm. You are the luckiest lady in Nofia. <laughs> Tell me, why do you say so? Did you just ask that question? Of course. What do you mean that I'm the luckiest person in Nofia? <laughs> you will soon be getting married to the prince. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are a queen in the making. Mm. And what was that for? She will not understand. Why do you always say, I will not understand? What is it I won't understand? <laughs> Uzandere, you will not still understand. I guess you're hiding something from me. My friend, some things are better left unsaid. Some things are better left unsaid? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me, okay. how are you? Forget about me. I'm fine. Why are you doing this to me? Why can't you just rise from us? What? Please help me. Please. How? How do you mean I should help you? Iruka, you know we will be getting married soon. Let's find a way to make it rise. I believe if you touch me, it will rise. Really? And who told you you can only rise when being touched by a woman? It is obvious that you're not man enough. I just confirmed that. How dare you talk to me in that manner? How dare you? I am sorry, but let the truth be told. Say the truth for yourself. And never you speak to me in such manner, Luka. And let me refresh your memory. You are my wife to be, and there is nothing. You! or anyone can do about it. Who 
Kudo. What is the problem? Since you can't rise when a beautiful girl, a sexy girl like Iruka, is ready for you, then tell me, what else can make you rise? My disappearance wasn't intentional. I did not know that as a king of an Inugu that I could marry from a different land. I didn't know. So it wasn't like I was set out to hurt and disappoint you. I, my intention was not to promise and fail. I just did not know better. I know you're hurt. Please. I acted out of ignorance. I, I, I didn't know. Please forgive me. Please. Not forgiving you. You have? Thank you. Thank you for being so understanding. Thank you. The truth is, I've been spiritually connected to you. Despite all that, that has happened, I do see you in my dreams. You do? Mm hmm It truly means that you and I are connected and you're really destined to be my wife. Yes. But I also hear that you are soon to get married to the prince of your land. Is it true? Yes, but... What, but what? <laughs> I'm just coming from his place. Okay. Something is not right. What is not right? I don't think I should tell you. You should tell me. I'm here because of you. I'm here for you. Huh? that he cannot experience uh, erection. And I'm asking myself, what kind of marriage will that be if the king... Will that be if he doesn't... Are they going to be happy together? Listen, I, I just want, you know, Iruka to be mine. I, I, I want a woman who, who is truly mine so that I can have the kind of joy and happiness that you're currently experiencing with Iruka. Huh? Do not worry, my king. Everything will be fine. Uh, how? You surely have him. How? How? As we speak, the prince of Norfia is set to get married to Yuruk, and I cannot interfere. You remember what happened the last time I tried to do that? Hey, man. <laughs> huh? Do not forget that your marriage with Yuruka has been signed by the goddess, the goddess of Norfia. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it will surely happen. Not sure. Ah, okay. I think your wife is back. <laughs> Thank you. 
my beautiful wife. Uh. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Kekwane. You came to visit us today. Yes, I stopped by to say hi, but um, he told me that you had um, driven out to get a few things. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm from Nakagi Juleji. Oh, Juleji, I'm from Good. I was just on my way out uh, before you drove in. I hope I'm not the one chasing Not at all. Not at all. I have been here for a while. Eh? Okay. Uh, so let me run. Wanna? Thank you, Your Majesty. Answer my question. What were you doing with the king of Anenugu? He came to see me. As in what? He came to see you based on what? Answer me! With all due respect, my prince, I already told you that the king is spiritually connected to me and there is nothing you or anybody can do about it. Will you keep your mouth shut if I hit you? How dare you speak such trash to my ears? How dare you? Now let me warn you. Never you meet with him again. If I get such information or catch you by myself, then you will see another bad side of Prince Okangamado Okangamu. Now leave my presence. Get out! You belong to me. I am your future king. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. You mean you saw her? Yes, mom, I saw her. Our ancestors, I thank you. I thank you so much. Uh -huh. So when is she coming to live with us as your wife and our queen? Mom, it's complicated. How do you mean? Uh, she's soon to be married to the prince of her land. What? Uh, um, this is really, really confusing. I'm confused. I know what to do. Could this be that he's aware? Uh, who? Who no. Who no who sent words to me that he would like to meet with me privately after your meeting with them? Meeting? What meeting? I don't have a meeting with them. We don't have a meeting today. You said there's a meeting. What exactly is going on? You called this impromptu meeting. The king is here. Can you tell us that which made you to call this impromptu meeting? I, I just want the elders in council to be present. As I remind the king that he has just two days remaining for him to make a choice of a woman that will be his wife and the next queen of this kingdom. Or he abdicates the throne. Uh, uh, eh? Eh? Is that so? Is this why you called this meeting? Is it not big enough? Why are you behaving as if you hate our king so much? What? Eh? Why are you going about this as if you are the only one involved? Um, it's your question. You may have a valid point, but you are going about it the wrong way. I, I want to understand something. Are we saying that we are prepared to? Allow the king continue to rule without a win? Our king is already make, making a move on this. So why mount this pressure on him? Listen, I am not... <laughs> I don't understand how you are twisting this. But let me just tell us something. It might interest all of us to know. 
that I am already gathering support huh? on how I am going to force this council into doing the right thing. If it finally happens that way, please let nobody blame me. <laughs> Are you going to ambush the council? I am not going to ambush the council because the council has already ambushed themselves by the first to do the right Greetings of Northern. Greetings to you. I was told you are looking for me. Yes, my prince. Please, who are you? I am Atwein, the medicine man from Anienugu. Anienugu, wait. I hope you are not sent by your king. Not really, my prince. I'm here to see you. You say you are a medicine man, right? Yes. Sit. Thank you. So, can I know the reason why you are here? My prince, you have a problem. And I know your problem. What are you talking about? You do not experience erection, my prince. And I can give you a medicine that can take care of that. You, you mean you can? Yes, I can. But on only one condition. Ezebiozo, please, you have to leave now. I don't want him to walk in here and see you. Please. Hiroka, I have run out of options. What do you want me to do? Please. I don't want him to come here and see you. He want me never to see you again. Please understand. Hiroka, I'm not going to be losing just the throne. I'm going to be losing you. I'm going to be losing my mind. I need your help. I am sorry, but you just have to understand, please. Hiroka. What am I going to do? I'm confused. I'm out of options. What do I do? Huh? Iruka must have told him. Yes. Ah, Iruka. You have touched the tale of a lion. I will so deal with you. But should that be the case? No, it shouldn't. The medicine man said he could heal me. What if he finally heals me? That means I'll be free from this mystery. Yes, all I have to do is to leave you look after his That wouldn't be more to sacrifice. My inability to experience erection has ruined a lot for me. No medicine man was able to heal me. How do I solve this problem? My prince, the medicine that will solve your problem. Are you sure this will work? Go ahead and drink it. Prince of Kangamwado or Kangamwo and get any maiden in your land. You see how your body is going to react. I just want you to have a confirmation. There are medicine men and there are medicine men. You mean if I take this, Udugwakuro? Ganga Ganga. Oh, I can't believe this. It worked. Gods of my ancestors, 
It worked. My prince. Yes, it worked. Oh, at when I visited all kinds of herbalists, but none of them was able to heal me. But just a cup, a cup from your medicine has done this magic. Oh, at when I am so grateful. You are indeed a great medicine man. <laughs> All praise to the goddess of healing who made it possible. Thank you so much, goddess of healing. Thank you so much. Atwenny, I will reward you for this. Oh. You can reward me and the condition I gave you earlier. You, you, you need to leave Iroka for your king? Exactly. Just that? Yes. Well, it is done. Obviously, I can go ahead and marry Iruka. Good. She is all his for now. Prince Okanga Mwadu. I like men that keep to their words. Atwenye, you have no idea of what you just did for me. <laughs> I mean it. I am no longer interested in Iruka. Thank you for this. I should be the one thanking you and may the gods bless you. You say... And you know what? I will name my first song after you are 20. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Thank you once again. Listen, I am positive that if you can just calm down, we can find a way to walk around this, okay? Please. I'm sorry, my king. There is nothing I can do. I don't want the prince to come here and meet you. Please, just go. Even if he comes, we will explain to him and I believe he will understand. You said that you've been spiritually bonded with the king. So why then are you concerned about this physical connection with the prince? Prince Okanga Madu is a beast. He would not understand anything. Please, my king, you have to go, please. It is either you or no one else for me. I said it now. <laughs> Prince, I can go mad, I can go mad. King, I greet you. I greet you. I greet you. Why is she running inside? Well, <laughs> um, Iruka. Iruka. Come. Come. Um, I never expected to see you here, but since that is the case, I want to let both of you know that you are free to marry each other. Mm. Yes, I am no longer interested. For Atwenyi, a great medicine man from your land, healed my inability to have erection. I can now experience erection as I speak to you. Atwenyi? Yes. He gave me a condition before he brought the medicine that I should leave Iruka for his king. I, Prince Okangamaru Okangamu, I am a man of my words. I made him that promise and I am here fulfilling it. Okangamaru. Okangamu. Omu. You can go ahead and marry Ruka. <laughs> I can choose any maiden of my choice. Okanga, thank you very much for being a man of your words. You're uh, welcome. And thank you for gifting me with a priceless jewel uh, from the land of North. You're welcome. I appreciate At very honestly, to say that I am elated is an understatement. You have indeed made me a very happy man. I mean, I don't know how to describe or explain what you did, but you have done it. And you did it for me. 
I just don't know. What do I do to reward you for such kindness? Huh? My king, you've already paid me by blessing my marriage to Inye. That is the highest payment, my king. Uh, <laughs> Dalo. Mm -hmm. Okukwe, thank you. You don't have to thank us, Your Majesty. You see, my husband actually told me about the whole thing and I told him to go ahead. And I'm happy it worked for you. You now have a wife. Ah. Not just a wife, but the one destined from the gods. I am the happiest, I must tell you. And for this niceness, I shall reward the both of you. Uh, no, Your Majesty. Uh, there's no need for that. Exactly, my king. No need for that. Ah. Yes. <laughs> it is fine. I assure the both of you that you shall hear from me. Eh? I don't necessarily have to make an announcement. But I tell you that the news will be very good. There is no need for no that. No need for that, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's a good man, you know. Yes. <laughs> the gods are wonderful. Indeed, they are. You know, I told you they were not sleeping. I'm glad you have confirmed it. Indeed, Mother, they are not sleeping. Thank you for everything, Mom. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mom, you know you're everything. Ah. <laughs> you're the best mother anyone can ask for. You're an epitome. Ah. What a great mom should be. Son, my head will explode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. You're welcome, Thank my you, daughter. Mama. Thank you. Wow. My wife and my queen. Mama. Come here. Hi. Thank you, Mama. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So, soon I will be carrying my grandchildren. You heard, Mom? Yes. So, I assume we get to walk. <laughs> sure. Right. <on. laughs> You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Any idea of why we are someone here? I have, no, I have no idea. Eh? It also excites patients. It's new backgrounds. I know that you all are surprised that I have summoned you quite urgently. It is because the matter at hand is urgent. Thank you for showing up at a short notice. I For you would give us the confirmation that we seek. Wifey, my wife, the Queen, and I found something. That sword, Wifey. Is that the sword? That we all have been waiting for. Is this one of the Queen? Right on our bed. It was already there when we got in. It is a confirmation that the previous queens have defined your fate. You are the queen. 
and your emergence is a new dawn. Thank you. <laughs> to you, Ichi Okwana Swanya. I can almost read your mind. Given the present situation, I know that you feel vindicated. Am I right? You, you know the feeling, my king. I, uh, sincerely, I feel vindicated. Uh, but I am happy. I am happy that finally we have a queen we can comfortably refer to as the queen of an Enugu kingdom. And I believe everybody is happy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dekron. Dekron is a virtue that man in authority must imbibe at all times. It is very important. You have been quite erratic this past few months, Ichi. As much as most of your points were strong and salient, but you were erratic. I speak to you in the presence of the elders. And I ask you to please apply the Quran as we move into the next phase of our history as a people. It is a new dawn for us here in Anenu. It is a new phase that we are entering as we do that. Even when you have points to make, be nice about it. Noted, my king. Noted. I, I thank you very much for the admonition. I sincerely appreciate it. Long live His Majesty. Here's the Piazza of an end of the kingdom. And then look, yeah. And then look, yeah. And then look, where's the winner? Yeah. Why are the lion, you're Priest in our land, to elders and smiling again. The bits and no singing again. Oh, Chimo, Chimo. The trees and the wind and the thunder. The sign in the sky is so dark. Smiling again. Okay. 